You've got full commentary here on Five Live Sports with Alan Green, Mark Lawrenson, and first good evening again to Simon Brotherton. Thank you, Mark. Well, last week Chelsea became the first team to leave the new camp with a clean sheet since Manchester United did in last year's semi-final. Twelve months ago, it was the platform for success in the second leg for United. Will it prove to be for Chelsea as well? It's their fifth semi-final in six years, and they've still to lift the trophy with the big ears. The two teams lining up either side of the halfway line. On the far side of the ground, the blue and white chequered flags have largely been lowered now by the fans in the crowd. They'll actually be able to see what's going on in front of them now. Chequered flags they are, but Chelsea some way short of the finishing line at the moment. The Champions League emblem, which fills the centre circle, is now being carried away to the far side. There's been a little embrace between Guardiola and Hiddink, the two coaches. Uh, Hiddink vastly experienced as a coach, of course, in comparison to his counterpart. But Guardiola did it all as a player, and what a lot he's packed into this season. But uh, for all that Barcelona have scored 146 goals already this season, Mark Lawrenson. They have got one or two problems today, and do you feel that Chelsea might just be able to exploit them? I do, and I, and I don't think watching uh, the majority of their games in La Liga, I, I, I don't think any, any teams have posed them as many problems as Chelsea are going to, Simon, because you know, we talk about the physicality, we talk about the mental strength of Chelsea, and they've got very, very good players. And I've done the crowd a little bit of a disservice, because in the last five minutes they've actually woken up, and there's a start, or there's a feel there's an edge here and we, we might actually have a better atmosphere than I thought we were well, going to Well, maybe get. the crowd just uh, realised they might be in for a long night and they didn't want to peak too soon, Mark. You never know. Or realise it's just Chelsea playing in blue and they're at home. An enormous Chelsea flag unfurled away to our right in the Matthew Harding stand, which is now being uh, very rapidly rolled up and dragged down one of the exits into the uh, uh, concourse behind the stand so that uh, the fans can see the match. Chelsea blue shirts, blue shorts, white socks. Barcelona bright yellow shirts with navy shorts and yellow socks. And uh, let's see how this one is going to be played out. Only three teams have come here to Stamford Bridge and won in the last five years. Barcelona are one of them. 2-1 on their last visit in February 2006. Uh, Arsenal and Liverpool earlier this season in the Premier League. The referee is Tom Henning Ogrebo from uh, Norway, one of the main UEFA referees these days. He was the fourth official in the final when Barcelona played Arsenal. And uh, we'll just... Uh, See how the two teams are lining up here with uh, Barcelona having more height at the back than they have in the past. And it looks as though, uh, I wonder whether Busquets is going to play just in front of Yaya Toure and PK as well, Mark. It, it looks that way, and, and Busquets is big and, and he's tall. And I, di I didn't realise, in all honesty, uh, Yaya Toure was that tall, Simon. And himself and he's PK. Big. He's big. Yeah, PK's big as well. So obviously they're trying to sort of fight fire with fire, aren't they? Well, and uh, Guardiola is obviously hoping that uh, Toure has had plenty of practice marking Drogba while on international duty with the Ivory Coast in training. We're underway here. Barcelona defending the shed end of the ground, get the match underway in this first half. We're right behind the dugouts here. Smack bang on the halfway line. Barcelona kicking from left to right are in possession of the ball with Yaya Toure, who is uh, Colo Torre's younger brother and will be hoping to have a rather happier night than uh, his brother did last night at the Emirates Stadium. It was all over so very early, wasn't it, for Arsenal as Javi sprays a pass away to the far side. It's cleared away high and long by Bozingwa. Two or three bounces and it goes through to Victor Valdez. And uh, just interestingly as well, Mark, just looking at uh, Messi seems to be playing in the centre, which is not what he did in the first leg, but exactly how he played at Real Madrid on Saturday. Yeah, so he's, and what he'll do is he'll just drop off all the time and leaves a problem for obviously Terry and Alex, whether to come with him or not. Messi tries to scamper away down the near side, having moved out to the right, but Chelsea cope with it well, and it's rolled back towards Alex, who tweaked a groin on Saturday against uh, Fulham, had to go off at half-time, but he's fit for this one. Ball in the centre circle with uh, Xavi, who was uh, named as the V player of Euro 2008, and uh, what a fine tournament he had with Spain emerging victorious in uh, Austria and Switzerland. Some semi-final defeat for uh, Gus Hiddink there as well. Ball played forward through the centre by uh, John Terry towards Drogba, but he couldn't quite get on the end of it. And away come Barcelona. Simon, he was through. He was absolutely th through. And like Gibbs last night for Arsenal, he slipped at the vital moment. 
Javi away to the left-hand side. It's collected by Samuel Eto. Eto shoots from a good 35 yards out. I'm not quite sure what he had in mind there because the ball just uh, bobbles along the ground about 10 yards wide of the goal. Well, the other thing as well, with uh, as we just mentioned about Drob, and Drob was just playing the, playing the movement back in his head there, saying, "Crikey, what, what a chance that could have been!" But where, where were two Ray and PK? Drogba just running along the line there, the furthest forward for Chelsea as uh, Pedacek bowls the ball out to the right back, Buzingwa. Buzingwa, who did a decent job playing as an emergency left back in the new Camp a week ago, trying to keep uh, Messi quiet. It's with Lampard in the centre circle, the ball played out to the right hand side, but uh, Anelka was about 15 yards behind the play and there was nobody there. Well, Anelka had come off his marker, hadn't he? Come off Abidal for the short one. And very interesting as well with, with, with Drogba. I think, I think he's going to conserve his energy. Into the he's not going to run into the corners at the moment. He's going to wait and wait and wait for almost a perfect ball and then he's going to be off. Ball hooked away by Alex from midway inside his own half. It uh, bounces into the front row of the crowd on the far side and Barcelona take the throw in quickly with uh, Seydou Keita in field now, collected by uh, Sergi Busquets. Busquets, one of the local youngsters to come through into the team, made his debut for Spain last month, just 20 years of age, and hit forward come Barcelona up towards the edge of the penalty area now. Messi rolling it in towards Eto, neat little one-two, and Messi is tackled well by John Terry, and Chelsea get it away on the right, midway inside their own half with Anelka. Five live sport, Champions League semi-final second leg, live from Stamford Bridge as Anelka uh, plays it forward and... Uh, Drogba tries to chase it down, but Victor Valdez, the goalkeeper, clears the ball. One bounce and it's collected by Terry. Then just chipped to the near side on the halfway line by Balak. Ashley Cole into Michael Essien. Essien gets a lucky bounce, but he's surrounded by four yellow-shirted players. And Barcelona very intelligently play their way forward to the halfway line, where the ball is collected once more by Samuel Eto. That bustling, surging, powerful run almost takes him all the way up to the edge of the penalty area. But as the ball bounces through, Czech clears it to the halfway line. Well, it's interesting. In Etu playing on the left because he's always going to cut inside, and at the moment, of all the Barcelona players, he looks a threat. Messi through the middle, it means that Alex and Terry can come and get very, very tight to him because I don't think anyone from Barcelona's midfield is going to run the other side of the two centre backs. Ball played into the centre, Dani Alves slips over as he tries to shoot, then it's flicked to the right hand edge of the penalty area on the byline. Messi tries to knock it back in. Balak doesn't know where the ball is, but it flicks him on the heels. Now, uh, Xavi tries to flick it in, and it's cleared away off the line. Uh, Chelsea. Uh, fighting hard to get the ball away. It was Bozingwa who was on the far post who got the ball clear. You, you know what, as well, Simon? I mean, that, that was fate because really there's no way Bozingwa should have been there ever. Because it, it got a real wicked deflection, I think, when the ball got played over. And, and he just by instinct just went and stood on the post. And lucky for Chelsea, they did it. It might not have sneaked in, but Czech certainly didn't know that. Well, uh, Bozingwa was certainly in the right place at the right time. As it happened, there was nobody around and he did have time to clear the ball. But yes, he was in the right spot but we've seen Messi causing a little bit of havoc actually in the first couple of minutes already with uh, that free roll that he's got running where he likes effectively but you know that, that's the thing but one of the two centre-backs can come and pick him up Chelsea try and attack down the left-hand side the ball is played towards Maluda who was level with the edge of the penalty area but the bounce of the ball takes it over the Frenchman's head and out of play and Danny Alves who was a target of Chelsea uh, supposedly for quite some time before going to Barcelona takes the throw in former Seville player right footed up towards the uh, halfway line little header forward down by John Terry bounces loose and uh, a tackle coming in from Lampard uh, concedes a foul and it will be a free kick for the challenge on uh, Busquets a raised eyebrow there Mark when I mentioned that Chelsea might have been in interested in Mr Alves at one time yeah I think he will get a bit of abuse tonight now because of his uh, behaviour or lack of in the first leg PK, the former Manchester United player, forward now towards Samuel Eto, midway inside the Chelsea half, infield towards Iniesta. Iniesta's gone wandering towards the left now, but Javi plays it to the right, and Messi, Messi rolls it along the floor to Dani Alves. Alves is 15 yards from the byline, crosses beyond the far post, one, two bounces, and the ball is out of play. And Mark Barcelona are knocking the ball around reasonably well here yes, in the first they are. six minutes, yeah, aren't they? they? They've started the more impressive of the two teams as well. Malouda's going to have to get back and get very tight on Alves because he, he, one thing about him he's very very good going forward uh, Bozingwa who missed a month before that first leg coming back in uh, the nick of time for Chelsea really takes the throw in uh, ball goes out of play and Chelsea slowly advance they now have a throw uh, about midway inside their own half away on the far side as we look 
the right-hand side. Chelsea kicking towards the shed end in the first half here. At the prize at stake. A match against Manchester United in the Champions League final in Rome on May the 27th. And we are no nearer to finding out who is going to get there because uh, it's goalless here tonight and it was goalless in the first leg as Samuel Eto plays it away to the left-hand side of the field as uh, Barcelona with Eric Abidal come forward. Abidal back into Xavi in midfield. Xavi looks up right-footed, drills the ball into Alves right and edge of the penalty area, volleys the ball uh, too hard actually, right across the penalty area, it bounces down near the corner flag and it's out of play for a Chelsea goal kick. Great pass, mine from was it Xavi to uh, Alves? Great, great, great pass, but unfortunately for uh, for Barcelona, Alves couldn't do much about it. I just, I just think with Chelsea, just looking round a little bit in midfield at the moment and kind of thinking, uh, are we in the right position? Are we picking the right players up because of the way that at the moment do, uh, Barcelona are dominating the proceedings? Yeah, at times the game already is going on around Chelsea's players, isn't it, Mark? With uh, the way Barcelona are passing it around, Valdez. The goalkeeper has possession for Barcelona. 3,000 people have travelled here from Catalonia to watch the match. Uh, Stamford Bridge, of course, is packed to the rafters and sold out. The ball at the back with Yaya Torre. Uh, Drogba starts to close him down and Torre plays the ball short towards uh, Busquets. Busquets finds Xavi on the halfway line. Xavi right-footed into the centre. Uh, he was looking for the run of Seydou Keita, the Mali international, but he couldn't quite pick him out and the ball's back with uh, Peter Cech again. I think, I think Messi, Iniesta and Etu are causing all sorts of problems for Chelsea at the moment, Sam, and with their movement. At, at the moment, Chelsea aren't quite sure who, where, when and why to pick up. Cater getting well forward as well for uh, Barcelona more than once so far in this game. Eight and a half minutes played here on five live. Nil-nil. High ball headed forward towards the penalty area by Drogba. Left-hand side, down near the corner flag. Maluda has it. Lampard is there in support. Ball laid back to Lampard. Lampard rolls it to Ashley Cole. Cole just skips away from Busquets. Rolls it to the edge of the penalty area. Lampard tries to chip it up. Ball deflects up in the air. Michael Essie with the shot! Oh, what a goal! What a goal! against Barcelona nine minutes played it's Chelsea one Barcelona nil and am I right in thinking that just after eight eight plus minutes which is the time of the first goal last night at the Emirates from Manchester United very interesting there as well Simon Gus Hiddink straight away came over to John Terry and said something and it wasn't let's keep it tight whatever he was saying to him look you need X in there Y in there and Z in there that's where the problems are being caused at the moment or were being caused I should say but what a fantastic strike for Messian well and, and what a start for Chelsea when you consider that actually for the first nine minutes of the game they've been largely outplayed here by Barcelona who've had much of the possession and have looked the livelier and more likely team but Chelsea now have the advantage but here come Barcelona to the edge of the penalty area it was Abidal but uh, Alex the Brazilian moving smartly across no mucking around he just thumped the ball into the crowd Barcelona have a corner on their left well the other thing as well is that uh, it's not really changed much from Barcelona's point of view because they still need to score a goal don't they so I don't think you'll see them panic corner taken short collected by Messi rolled it back to uh, Iniesta shirt hanging out into the penalty area it goes nobody there Drogba back to help out as he so often does and Drogba launching the ball forward but of course it was in the general sort of area where he would normally be lurking so there was nobody there and Barcelona in their yellow shirts are behind here and have possession a slightly rejig Barcelona team and uh, Michael Essien of all people uh, sundering the ball in that shot on the volley but Hiddink still agitated on the edge of the technical area he knows that his team has still got some sorting out to do in terms of the general play here Mark do you know the really good news though no extra time I was happy with uh, however long we get to watch these two teams, <laughs> I'm joking. I must confess. In case anyone complains, <laughs> I'm only joking. Ball played forward now, and uh, PK has it, plays it square to uh, Javi. Well, we'll find out how good Barcelona are now, Well, exactly, we? but they won't, they won't change. I mean, they, I mean, they can't change, basically. They are passing the ball around neatly inside the Chelsea half, through the centre, and Javi with a lovely ball. Oh, it was nearly a lovely ball to the left-hand angle of the penalty area, I'm but it's, uh, it's gone out of play. Etu stretched and couldn't get that. Sorry, Simon. I'm not, I'm not sure where Basing was going at the moment. Do you he think Basing is? Well, he came in and stood alongside 
Alex there. He doesn't need to. Uh, you know, he needs to be halfway between Alex and Etu if the ball's played out there and get out there very, very quickly. I think it's as almost as though he's thinking, oh, it's only Etu. It's not Messi playing against me. I'm going to be absolutely fine. Well, I'm sorry. The outlet all the time is Etu. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't feel fine if it was only Etu out there. Yeah, but you're me. carrying a bit, aren't you? <laughs> Just a little bit more than Sami Eto is, yes, uh, over on the far side. And uh, Barcelona have a, a free kick. I might match him for the first yard and a half. In your head. <laughs> we can dream. Barcelona, free kick, left-hand side. Xavi takes it. Into the penalty area it goes. Powerful, towering header away by Drogba. Uh, away to the far side. It's near the right corner flag. Hooked away with the left foot of Bazingwa. Up to and just over the halfway line. And the ball rolls out of play. Five live. Live from Stamford Bridge. The Champions League semi-final, second leg. And what a start for Chelsea. Michael Essien from outside the penalty area. It banged against the underside of the crossbar. Ricocheted into the floor and back up into the roof of the net. Nine minutes, the time of the goal. Chelsea won, Barcelona nil on the night. One nil on aggregate. Now it's Messi scuttling forward. Little flick inside to Iniesta. Midway inside the Chelsea half. Iniesta playing it square to Javi. Uh, and... Uh, Etu's away there on the left-hand edge of the penalty area with a chance now to take on Bazingwa. Can't quite manage to do so. Abidal supports him. Messi tries to wriggle free inside the box. But away come Chelsea with Anelka, who is then fouled. And Chelsea have a free kick 15 yards outside their own box. Well, just the point we made just before is Bazingwa. Absolutely, he's, he's all over the place at the moment. And he did sort of patrol in the touchline here. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to try and get a message across. It might just be for five minutes, you know. I'm saying to Anelka, who's playing on the right side of midfield, just sit in a little bit for me and stop the get-out ball to Etu. Alex playing it forward now towards Drogba, losing out to Piquet. Piquet finds uh, Yaya Torre towards the near side, 10 yards short of the halfway line in Iniesta. Then uh, Torre hurried, flicks it forward, collected by Balak, but a little too much urgency on the pass there from the German Balak, and it goes out of play. Uh, Maluda can't get there. And you're right there, uh, Gus Hiddink is gesticulating quite strongly to his team and clearly he still doesn't quite have it as he wants it out on the field. No, he's, 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 he's not happy with the way they're set up when Barcelona have the ball at the moment. I.e. quite a lot of the time then. At uh, 95% I would have thought. Yaya Toure in possession of the ball, striding forward. Uh, taking his time, Javi comes short, but the ball is a rather loose one, and uh, there was nobody in the middle there for Chelsea to pick it up, and Barcelona have the ball back, and surging up to the edge of the penalty area is Abidal, Iniesta with time and space, flicks it into the centre, just a little too long there for Javi, who'd got in behind John Terry. One or two alarm bells ringing, Well, yeah, the, the other thing as well, as we've been going on, going on driving everyone mad about Basingwa, Anelk has just let Abidal run. He just basically let him run on. Well, you can't, you can't do that against Barcelona. It's, it's football in suicide. Hiddink's just having a little word with Didier Drogba at the moment. Um, Drogba just wanders back in towards the centre. He's changed. He's going to change his boots, I think. But I don't think that was anything to do with what Hiddink said to him. Flick on there by Maluda. Drogba will chase. He's very much second favourite, though, and Dani Alves, the Brazilian, skips across the face of his own area and away with the ball. And he doesn't fall over as he plays it forward. Messi inside the centre circle. Back now towards Xavi. Iniesta's available on the near side. Xavi, I think, is looking for him. Yes, he is. And Iniesta can't flick it in because it was uh, anticipated and intercepted by Ashley Cole. But Barcelona, in their yellow shirts, come forward again. Busquets, though, not a good ball out towards Abidal. It's collected inside the centre circle by Drogba. Can't find Michael. Kalesian, who just chips away at Iniesta and uh, the referee from Norway has uh, given Barcelona a free kick just short of the halfway line 1-0 Chelsea well, that's the other thing I mean the ball was played into drop but just keep hold of it because at the moment it's just dominated the ball by yellow shirts Seydou Keita away to the left hand side where it's collected once more by Samuel Eto'o just outside the penalty area oh it was square towards Javi he can't collect it but towards the right hand edge of the box Messi does now back with Javi again 10 yards outside the penalty area Barcelona trying to play their way through and uh, they were looking for a free kick on the edge of the box there Eto'o going down but the referee says get on with the game and it's cleared away and Guardiola uh, comes to retrieve the ball quickly and Didier Drogba's going to change his boots I think in a moment Chelsea 
look as though they were preparing to do that. Maluda sticks his foot in there and wins the ball back for Chelsea. Drogba tussling for it, losing out to Keita. Breaks loose to Lampard. Lampard plays it forward towards Maluda, away down the left-hand side. Victor Valdez backpedalling into his goal. Maluda back towards Lampard. Oh, he hacked at that one horribly. It was a clear shooting opportunity from about 12 yards or so, left of centre, but it just skewed off the outside of his boot up into the upper tier of the shed. Yeah, in all honesty, I think, I think there was only Anelka, the other blue-shirted Chelsea player, in the box anyway. So I don't blame Lampard for having a swish at it, but it, but it was a swish as well. Uh, Lampard, of course, scored twice in that incredible match in the quarter-final with Liverpool, the four-all draw here. And we've got a very lively encounter here so far after the opening quarter of an hour. Chelsea won, Barcelona nil on the night, 1-0 on aggregate. Michael Essien with the goal, and what a goal it was as well on nine minutes from outside the penalty area. But if you've just tuned in, Barcelona have had a lot of the early play. Dani Alves in possession, short ball forward in the Chelsea half. Chelsea working hard to get the ball back, Maluda does. Alves is clamouring all over him trying to get back. Down goes Maluda, but the referee says it was a foul by Alves. It wasn't, you know. Alves was just stronger. He was Imagine super competitive there, if it, Alves. If it serves to wind him up, then so be it, because it doesn't take much. Well, uh, Alves can add that to his collection. He's committed more fouls than anybody else in the Champions League this season, apparently. They've got stats for everything these days, and yes, I don't get out much before you say it. <laughs> Lampard with a free kick. Up to the edge of the penalty area. It's high, it hangs in the air. PK rises high and heads the ball away, and Maluda then just whacks it back in towards the centre it spins away on the right hand side it's midway inside the Barcelona half now and Nelka rolls the ball back to uh, Buzingwa, Buzingwa looks a little hurried there with uh, Jabby in close attendance it's back to Ashley Cole who rolls it to check the goalkeeper who doesn't come up with one of his better clearances it spins and reaches the halfway line and Iniesta brings it under control back to uh, Busquets, 18 minutes played on 5 live in the Champions League semi-final second leg, Chelsea 1 Barcelona 0, Michael Essien with the goal on nine minutes, 1-0 the score on aggregate, so we will not be getting extra time here tonight, so all those Chelsea fans will be able to get the last train home as uh, Yaya Torre sends the ball from the centre circle, sailing out of play over on the far side. Uh, it was aimed at Samuel Eto'o, but Eto'o could only stand there and watch it fly past him. But in all honesty, there, there was going to be absolutely no pressure from Basingwa yet again. Told you he's going to change his boots. Much anticipated boot changes happening now, but uh, I think... Uh, Drogba did fall over earlier, didn't he? It wasn't yes. just a case of him trying to get some uh, advertising time no, no, for the no, TV, no. closing no, no. in on his boots. No, no. That's the other thing as well, you know, about last night, about Gibbs. I'd love to know if he was wearing blades rather than studs. Well, his face was a picture, wasn't it? What an untimely slip. Because I have a theory about that. I think, I, think, I think in the first leg he did exactly the same thing and got away with it. PK. Yes, he did, actually. Ball played forward now to Javi, right of centre, rolling it along this carpet-like playing surface at Stamford Bridge. The pitch looking much better here for the time of year than it has done in recent seasons. It's a, a pretty impressive-looking playing surface as uh, Gerard Piquet has possession. long sleeve jersey for him tonight. Uh, along the floor, away to the left-hand side, and Bazing was not really in attendance once again. As Etu rolls it in towards the centre, Chelsea scurrying a little bit there as Etu raced into the middle, but uh, Czech anticipated and slid down to smother the ball. Yeah, for all um, Barcelona's domination of the of the play and the and the passes in terms of the passing, they haven't tested Czech at the moment. But no, it's coming. Hasn't had to uh, make what you'd call a decent save yet in this match, but. Uh, Chris Hiddink, uh, winner of this uh, European Champions Cup back in 1988 with PSV Eindhoven on the edge of the technical area. Brilliant play, though, by Iniesta. He's gained about 20, 25 yards already. Holds the ball up under pressure from Anelka and a little tap on the heel there from Anelka and down goes Iniesta. Free kick Barcelona, middle of the field, midway inside the Chelsea half. Well, look on the bright side. and Anelka actually chased back on that occasion. He's done it more than once tonight. It's not just well, Drogba who's come back. He's not, not done it enough. And uh, he is behind the ball at the moment, as are all of the Chelsea players. And uh, Tom Henning of Rabo, the Norwegian referee, wants them to come back another pace or two. Chelsea 1, Barcelona 0. Michael Essien with the goal. Free kick, Barcelona. Xavi standing near the ball, Dani Alves as well. And it looks as though Alves might take it. He does over the wall, it dips just wide of the post. And uh, Petr Cech just has a little look back at the wall. But that one came whistling in. Yeah, mind you, unlike Almunia last night, that had been on target, Czech would have saved it. 
Czech had it covered, but the ball wide of the goal. So no uh, birthday present yet for uh, Danny Elves, as Alan was saying earlier. 26 today as the ball is cleared by Czech for Chelsea. High and long, just a little bit too far for Drogba. His body language says, oh, if only it was just another Well, the other thing is that Yaya Toure just gave up. Pique in possession on the halfway line. His pass forward takes a little ricochet off the goal scorer, Michael Essien, but Barcelona... Uh, have the ball once again and uh, they continue to have the lion's share of possession but importantly all importantly it's Chelsea who have the lead here Iniesta back towards Alves halfway line right of centre with Xavi the captain back towards uh, uh, Busquets Xavi has it once again he's such a pivotal figure in Barcelona's team and he has been for such a long time now as Yaya Toure rolls it back centre towards uh, Gerard Piquet Piquet almost on the centre spot tries to slide it forward towards Messi takes a little deflection off uh, Drogba and Barcelona busy going nowhere at the moment well I just let the two centre-backs have it Simon I just let them have it you'd rather they have it than Xavi and Iesta and Messi and those people just let them have the ball Lampard plays it forward over the top Drogba chases it Victor Valdez comes out and gets the vital touch right on the 18-yard line and how important might that prove to be it was just a, a little touch here or there that might have taken it past Barcelona's goalkeeper he couldn't afford to miss that one with Drogba bearing down on him and he won that duel I thought Drogba should have done better knock it the side of Valdez and he's completely stranded well, we're midway through the first half here. Chelsea lead by one goal to nil, taking you through to half-time, Alan Green. Here's Michael Essien, scorer of that goal. And it's actually uh, Chelsea's only shot on target. There hasn't been a lot of strict goal-mouth action. Terry plays the ball back to Czech, and Czech and leans back as he clears it right-footed. Maluda brings it down brilliantly, down the left side for Chelsea. Uh, nobody in the opposition penalty and Maluda has the ball left edge of the penalty area and he goes down and what's he given a, has what? he given a free kick he has I thought it's in the penalty well, area well if that's that. a free kick it should be a penalty kick because well. it was inside the penalty area but well, they're, they're just reliving the battle of the, of the new camp these two aren't they Alves I'm, and Maluda I'm convinced that's a penalty that's a penalty <laughs> you know initially I thought um, he was going to book Maluda for diving but it was a foul tackle and it's inside the penalty area yeah and how did you see that um, Mr Aubrey Bull <laughs> get your glasses on obviously son obviously didn't see it dear oh dear so we had a penalty that wasn't a penalty last night and we had a penalty that wasn't given here tonight so Drogba with uh, the mysterious free kick a yard I think he's going to absolutely whack this in Alan oh absolutely just a yard from the goal line right footed driven in my goodness Fallon didn't know much about it I think it hit the goalkeeper and is behind for a corner I think it hit him on his left thigh yep well Chelsea very close to getting a second goal very close so Asik is down as a good save you know ok Lampard from the right with a corner. Nearly 25 minutes played at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea lead 1-0. Corner played. It. Terry heads it on wide. Not much in it. No. The other thing from Chelsea's point of view from that is, I don't think Barcelona had anybody on the post whatsoever. Which no, neither post. Against a team with lots of height is not good. Guardiola um, issuing instructions. I think he wants Etu to play wide. Because Basing was absolutely having a nightmare. Well, they just can't get anywhere near and, him. And so is Anelka, actually. I don't think Anelka's done anything of any consequence at all. Here's Busquets for Barcelona, whose position hasn't really changed. Because remember, if they score one goal, they're ahead on the away goals rule. Do you know what I think? Just going back to that, the Chelsea corner and nobody on the post, you know what I think it is? I think they've gone Barcelona. If I get, get everybody in there, hope one of us heads it. <laughs> no, seriously, there can't be any other rhyme or reason why you would possibly go about it that way. PK slams the ball down the left flank. It goes straight out of play on the far side of the field. And it's going to be a throw into Chelsea. Level over the edge of their own penalty. Chelsea won, Barcelona nil. It was a terrific goal from Michael Essien. We're just seeing a replay of the incident. If that's not in the penalty area, I don't know what it is. No, it was in. There's just no argument, here's another, is there? Here's another replay. Look, there's just no argument. <laughs> Laughable. Maluda into Lampard Lampard chipped it forward no offside flag Drogba into the penalty Drogba goes down too easily not a penalty 
No. I think this time he got it absolutely right. Yeah. Got to be stronger, Drogba. Got to be stronger in there. Oh, if he just concentrated on playing the ball instead of throwing himself down, it could have been 2-0 Chelsea. Drogba was on his knees in the penalty yeah. area. Valdez helping him up. And don't tell me Drogba's got to be an injury now. Oh, mind you, it wouldn't be like him if he didn't. Blame it on the boots he's just changed. Uh, he's holding his back. Get up. You should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed. Well, the thing is, and we... I don't think the Norwegian referee should let anybody on. No. Because he's not at all convinced it's there's fine. anything wrong with Drogba. And the other and thing right. is, we, we came Danny Alves last week at the new Camp. Yeah. Well, I, I argue that um, Ronaldo of Manchester United and Drogba of Chelsea would be desperate to get Alves into the Premier League. And then all attention would... Take the pressure off. You know, be deflected away from them. And, and like you, I thought Ronaldo was brilliant last night. Oh, sensational. Unplayable. So the ball is back with uh, Valdez. His play resumes for the non-injury. After the non-injury to Drogba, we played 27 minutes on five live. Well, you know Chelsea what? Chelsea lead 1-0. Oh, sorry, Barcelona, they just look a better team. All the chances at Chelsea, they should be, well, should have had a penalty on top of the 1-0. And I think Drogba, with the two opportunities, could have actually been 3-0 up here. Well, the first... The first one, after about 90 seconds, he just dreadfully miscontrolled it. He was clean through. Uh, here's Busquets to Alves, the right fullback for Barcelona. On to Messi. Where's Messi been over the last 10 minutes? Cutting in from the right side, evading Ashley Cole, finding Xavi. Xavi to the left side in Iniesta. Etu's in the penalty area. It's played back to Abidal. Abidal to Xavi once more. Uh, he crosses towards the far post. Alves going, went to meet it, and I think he fouled... Um, the defender he did Ashley Cole Cole, wasn't it no it wasn't Ashley Cole no he's Malouda well done the boy Florent yeah and he's he's obviously feeling that no he's hurt his bun yeah I was going to say he's feeling his bun it's a bun isn't it it's an old fashioned bun bun. the nurses used to have them didn't they in the sort of 50s and 60s the old bun at the back of the head job I I never used to fantasise about that the uniforms yes but not the buns I wasn't born (laughs) 28 and a half minutes play Chelsea won Barcelona nil and it was a terrific strike by Michael Essien. Strongway jumps, uh, misses with the attempted header, and anyway, he was offside, and it's a free kick to Barcelona. Taken quickly to Xavi, on to Messi. Uh, Cole hacks at the backs of the Argentine's leg. Messi uh, runs past Ashley Cole. Terrific run by Messi, inside of Lampard as well. Messi to Xavi. Uh, Iniesta is unmarked on the far side. Ticked out by Xavi. Iniesta, edge of the penalty area. Shot was high and wide. Goal kick. Just had a stat there. You, you, you're like me, you hate stats. They had nearly 70% possession, Barcelona. My argument will be, what have you done with it? Yeah. But actually, I think they are marginally more threatening than they were last week. Yes. Yeah, because Chelsea have to open out just a little bit, don't they? That's the other thing. And and I, I, I do feel that, that the movement... I mean, Etu's now back through the middle and Iniesta's out on the left and uh, Messi's now down on the right-hand side. A goal kick taken. Uh, Barcelona headed back towards the halfway line. Nice uh, volley pass by Cole towards Malouda. Uh, Cole goes in on Messi and then he's tackled by Alves. Is Alves going to be booked here? If he is, he would be out of the final and he is. Well, he might not be in it. No, he might not be in it, but um, Alves will not be appearing in Rome, whatever happens to his team. Can't raise your arms. Yeah. Didn't particularly make great contact with Asiko. You cannot raise your arms. Yeah, well, he knows. He's losing the plot as well again now. Look, shaking his head. Surprise, surprise. Oh, Danny boy. What a fool. I never realised the world rotated around his bottom. <laughs> Free kick to Chelsea, who lead 1-0. Quarter of an hour left in the first half here at Stamford Bridge. Taken by Ashley Cole towards uh, Drogba. Headed away well by uh, Piquet. And Piquet gets a second chance to clear it. Uh, Lampard was caught there. I think he was caught by a flailing arm. Well, Lampard's down and he's spitting blood. He was certainly caught there. L- Lampard's uh, mouth is very bloody at the moment. Referee will have to stop play. Yeah. Well, he's, he insisted that uh, Terry hit the ball out of play. It wouldn't have taken much foresight there, Mr. Referee, to know that Lampard has a genuine problem. Yeah, it was caught. Cool. Yeah. Uh, flailing arm again. Well, the Norwegian's supposed to be one of our better referees in Europe. Well, I, 
I fail to understand why he didn't see that the foul on Maluda was inside, not outside the penalty area. I know. And Malou, when well, I'm talking about Maluda, Maluda's just getting instruction here, so too is Michael Ballack. Meantime, Lampard still crouching on his knees, face forward. He'll have to go off, you know. I can't uh, stuff a, a wad of cotton wool in his mouth and let him play on. He'll have to come off. Yeah. So we're delaying, and uh, referee is indicating the fourth official check for time. Well, of course he's checking for time. Are you happy with the way Chelsea are playing? Yeah, I am actually. Um... You know, even the fact that Barcelona have looked very good on the ball, no doubt about it, Iniesta, Xavi, um, Etu, everybody, Messi, they haven't really caused Chelsea many problems. And what Chelsea have done is they've defended their 18-yard line extremely well. And Alan, as we said before, they should have had a penalty. Drogba could have scored one of his two chances. So I think if you're hitting, you're just a little bit slightly worried. Barcelona in possession and the movement. But overall, he's thinking, happy days so far. I've just a feeling Chelsea will have to score a second goal. Yeah, I'm with you. By the way, um, you know, we, we, we were saying that Stamford Bridge is full. It's not. Look at the Matthew Harding stand. There are at least half a dozen rows at the back of that stand that are empty. Now, quote, they're probably blocked off for UEFA family members who couldn't be bothered coming. Now, uh, the referee's got no option, really. Uh, he, he's got to ask Frank Lampard to leave the pitch though that could have happened two minutes ago frankly yeah well I, th but I think with an injury like facial injury I think I think you don't worry about moving just just find out what, what exactly is wrong with him first I think that's quite right for and the Phil, Phil the Simon producer, seems to think he might have lost a tooth Phil the producer just uh, emphasised what has been my feeling we've actually only had one shot on target yeah Essien's goal but it's not a bad match and at least it's a lot tighter than last night. Uh, Lampard comes back onto the pitch. And the ball is given back uh, by Barcelona from the throw-in to Czech. He throws it out to Basingo on the far side of the field. I'm missing Ivanovic, you know. Uh, to Anelka, back to Basingua, caught in possession by Kaita. Basingua then manages to clear it on the volley, but it's out of play, it on the far side. And it's a throw-in to Barcelona. And really down the right side, Chelsea are awful. Not good. So, throw in, take in uh, by Avi, Avidal to Kaita, tackled by Alex, balls out of play. He's given a free kick. Well, he's given a free for, kick for, for the challenge Alex. by Kaita. Yeah. Right. So just to emphasise, before all that, Daniel Alves was shown a yellow card and he would be suspended uh, should Barcelona reach the final. But they're not going to the final at the moment to meet Manchester United. Chelsea lead Barcelona 1-0 here, 11 minutes to go. The half time plus you'd think now at least three minutes of stoppage time for the various all ups we've had. Drogba heads the ball on, out comes Valdez and punches on at the edge of his penalty area. Uh, they're jumping up and down at the old shed end of Stamford Bridge in the upper tier of the stand. Uh, they're enjoying themselves, but I still think there are nervous moments ahead here for Chelsea. Iniesta uh, to kite on the far side of the field. Iniesta once more and back to the halfway line and Avidal Avidal to Yaya Turi hitting wants his players to push forward sitting too deep at the moment or perhaps they're not pressurising the Barcelona players when they're in possession absolutely that's the problem they sat off a bit at the moment Busquets to Pique overwhelmingly the action has been in the Chelsea half it's played toward Daniel Alves and it's a good header out of play by Malud off his bum throwing uh, to Barcelona four or five paces from the corner fly thrown back to Messi Messi still sort of flits in and out of the game he played it back to Alves Alves uh, attempting to return the pass to Messi didn't get it right and Chelsea clear it upfield over the halfway line only Drogba up front Pique to Yaya Toure up to the halfway line Xavi about 10 yards to his left Yaya Toure is looking down the right side changes his mind Messi's being uh, tracked back by Maluda there's a new job for Maluda sort of doubling up on Messi down this side uh, Cole and Maluda now Abidal to Iniesta on the far side of the field the Barcelona left being hustled and was he fouled by Basingua he was and it's a free kick and Basingua's having a very poor game free kick taken quickly Xavi has it for Barcelona back um, 
to Alves. And Alves just chips it forward. Lovely layoff between Etu and Messi. Etu now. A yard from the tee of the penalty here to Messi. Right edge of the box. Uh, clips the cross in. Took a deflection. That might have been difficult for Czech. But he dived forward and caught the ball. Yeah, I think the problem was when he had it and the ball was deflected, Alan, it popped up a little bit. And Czech wasn't sure whether to come and claim it. And then one, once one of the, I think it might be Etu, was running through, it made his mind up to come and get it. To be fair, that's the nearest that Czech has made to a save for all the possession that Barcelona have yeah. had. Now we've got a goal kick to Barcelona. I mean, it's as we, we were talking about before the game. They were, they're only slightly more expansive, Chelsea, than they were last week. Yeah, but it's enough. Enough at the moment. They lead 1-0. And, of course, 1-0 on the night means 1-0 on aggregate since the first leg finished 0-0. Pique to Avidal. Uh, back now to Keita. Keita to Pique again. And on to Busquets inside the centre circle. To Xavi. Always available, Xavi. On to Messi. Messi always fancies getting past Cole. Gets past him yet again. Down the right side. Plays it in towards the near post. Not the right option. That was like a pass back to check. It's amazing, it's amazing. It's not it's not about his pace, Alan Messi, it's his change of pace. Oh. He's already very quick. When he changes pace, he goes even quicker. Well, I mean, we know Cole is quick. Well, it's, and it's just <laughs> little strides, isn't it? Right. It's like tiny top strides as well, and he's away, isn't he? Valdez throws the ball out to Alves, near side of the field, onto Xavi. Messi available on the right flank. Xavi down to walking face, stood still for a moment there. Plays it to Busquets, takes the return pass. Now it's with PK. Uh, PK on to Xavi inside the centre circle. Back to PK. Both uh, Barcelona central defenders, Yaya Touré and PK, are being allowed to have the ball a lot. Uh, Xavi on to Messi. Messi's got into the middle now. And he's got a player available down the left side. That's Abidal. Back to Messi. Inside left position for Barcelona. Plays it in. Xavi's there. Tries to return the pass. Overhits it. And it's behind for a goal kick. Yeah, I mean, it, it is It is a criticism of Barcelona at the moment is nobody's really tried too many shots from, from distance. They're trying to score the perfect goal. I know we had the shot from Alves from the free kick, which wasn't too far away. But at the moment, in and around the box, they're just going for that little one-two. And quite honestly, there's so many blue shirts around at the moment. I'd, I'd be hitting one from 25 well, yards. I thought here. Xavi should have hit that. Yeah. Instead of passing it, he should have just hit it. I think Chelsea in a similar position would have had a strike at goal. Definitely. Seven minutes to half time plus um, additional stoppage time, of course, because yeah, we have had a couple of uh, hold ups, uh, particularly to Lampard and also to Drogba. Messi in the centre circle, just running away from Ashley Cole. Cole will have nightmares about this, unless, of course, Chelsea hold on, in which case he couldn't give a stop. He'll be in the final in Rome. Here's Alex to Ashley Cole and on to Maluda, and Maluda just squirts his uh, left foot at the ball, and the ball flicks out of play for a throw into Barcelona. Just Chelsea, a little, little bit more composure, just a little bit more. Alves to take it, eight yards short of the halfway line. Busquets runs into the Chelsea half, initially ignored, now it's thrown to him, Busquets just falls over, there was no foul challenge there by Balak, referee got it right. Cole, back to Czech, and Czech left-footed, clears it over the halfway line, Drogba jumps for the Yaya Turi, neither of them make contact with the ball, still bouncing towards Maluda, might run kindly for Chelsea, but no it doesn't. Alves takes it up, rushes forward, running over the halfway line, certainly fouled there by Estien, free kick, without question to Barcelona. Yeah, he, he knew he was going to get a nudge, didn't he, Alves, and he, he went down very, very early. Uh, but but what are Barcelona yapping about? Xavi's moaning? No, they've, they've taken the ball off them, oh. Chelsea. Come on, son. Whinging again. Five minutes to half time. Chelsea won, Barcelona nil. Michael Essien's goal... Around about eight minutes after the game started. Iniesta uh, to Xavi. Xavi now looks to the right side. Finds Alves, the Brazilian fullback. Alves, good cross in towards the far post. Headed behind by Basingua. Should have got a call by Czech because there was no Barcelona player behind Basingua. No need to head the ball. Corner taken. Back it goes to Iniesta. TK's in the penalty area. But again, they're trying to walk it through. Busquets to the left side. Abidal with a cross into the penalty area. Headed away. Alves will shoot, will he? No, he won't. He passes it to Messi. Right edge of the penalty area. His cross into the penalty area. Took an affection, did it not? No, it didn't. It's a goal kick. No, I think I think didn't quite get to the flight, did he, Etu? That's all it was. But again, you know, they're trying to score the perfect goal. 
No point going out of the Champions League in search of a perfect goal. Any goal will do. We saw the perfect goal last night, by the way. The counter-attack. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Well, I don't know what I like more. Actually, the defending that United did to be able uh, to enable them to counter-attack. The back heel by Ronaldo. Parks immediate control. The vision that he saw Rooney running through in the left. And then Rooney's vision, seeing that Ronaldo was sprinting into the penalty. It was perfection. Yeah, but apart from that... Yeah, scrappy goal. <laughs> Oh, United were very, very good last night. If United play like that in Rome, frankly, I don't think it matters whether it's going to be Barcelona or Chelsea. United will re retain the Champions League. Lampard's free kick. In towards Terry, whose shirt was being tugged, but there's a header behind for a goal kick, for a corner kick, rather, not a goal kick. It's a corner to Chelsea. Yeah, I'm sure there was a tug on Terry's... The uh, there was a tug on Terry's shirt. Mind you, Terry does enough tugging at defending corners. Three minutes to half time. Lampard to take the corner. The ball, even though. Well, we've uh, had problems here the with field. the. Are they playing the far side of the field? Chelsea 1, Barcelona 0. What is it here? A Chelsea throw in? Oh, yeah. the ball has to be returned for the crowd. In the west stand on the far side. Basingua to take the throw in. Level with the edge of the Barcelona penalty area. Thrown towards Anelka. Out of play again off a Barcelona player. Another Chelsea throw in the game just a couple of yards. Chelsea leading 1 0. Couple of minutes to go to half time. Throw goes into Drogba this time. Drogba back towards Balak. Balak doesn't get to the ball before a Barcelona player initially, but a Barcelona mistake means Chelsea a possession again. Basingua. Back to Lampard. Lampard into Essien. Essien being hustled here. And Essien did really well. Had he lost possession, then Barcelona were going to get clean through. As it is, the ball is back with Czech. Czech hits it away towards the far side of the field. Anelka out jumped. I don't think Anelka has done anything of consequence at all. Here's Balak. Um, no, Balak couldn't get to the ball before Etu. What's going on here? Basingua's with... misplaced pass. Goodness down. gracious. And he has to down the left side, faced by Basingua. Uh, he beats Basingua. He's on the edge of the penalty area, a yard outside the penalty area, rather. Back to Xavi. Daniel Alves. Alves uh, flicks it infield, and it's lashed away to safety by Essien. Um, out of play on the far side of the field. Barcelona are just going to have a have to have a pot at goal at some stage. You would say so. We know that Alves can strike a terrific free kick. Presumably he can do it, you know, from open play as well. Xavi. On to Alves. Over the, the, 20 yards over the halfway line right side for Barcelona back to Xavi Busquets available uh, it's played to Busquets roll to Busquets on it goes to the left side Iniesta uh, running at uh, Basingua into the penalty area Basingua didn't know anything about that at all but it was cleared by Terry and here's Drogba Drogba was fouled there kept his footing feeds it through Anelka chases after it but the defender gets there first Abidal and it goes back to Val uh, Valdez yeah there was no way that Anelka was going to get on the end of that there was a... he's not justifying his selection Anelka well they think that the bottom line Alan is you know alright you, you might not play well but you can work your socks off can't you and, yeah. you can, and, you, and, you, and you can cause Barcelona a problem defensively. Here's Iniesta running forward. Iniesta back to Xavi. Again, he declines to shoot. Again, he tries to uh, flick a clever pass in towards Etu. Doesn't get it right. And it was chested back to goalkeeper check. And here comes the fourth official. Is it three minutes? Three minutes. That's it we've got. It's about right. I'm still not entirely happy, Mark. I know Chelsea are leading... But I just think no. that if Barcelona they're not, change, they're not change their approach ever so slightly, they'll get back into this game. Yeah, just Chelsea are not comfortable at the moment. But it's an intriguing and absorbing game. Yeah, it's very... T do you feel the tension? I do. I mean, after 11 minutes last night at the Emirates, it could have nodded off. Knew there was no chance of Arsenal getting back into it. But Chelsea poised to join Manchester United in the final in Rome. A long way to go. Uh, a second half to go. Here's Iniesta, beating Essien on the far side, and then he's tackled by uh, the fullback for single side of play for a Barcelona throw. And we're in stoppage time at the end of the first half here. Abidal to take the throw. What is he, 10 yards over the halfway line? Throws it to Keita, back to Abidal. And now Piquet. 
and I don't know what the whistles are for. Chelsea fans unhappy that Barcelona possession are unhappy that we're in the stoppage time and the referee hasn't blown his whistle. Here's Etu. Back to Xavi. Xavi flicks it forward. Took a deflection off a Chelsea player. And here's Basingo. What are you doing? What are you doing, Basingo? Just clear it. He's having a mare. Absolute mare. He's lucky he came off a Barcelona player. I had to play for a throw in. I think the chalkboard board will be out of half time for Chelsea, won't it? And Anelka and Basingo. Uh, yeah, I think everybody else is doing the job yeah. really well. The other thing as well, and I don't know if you've noticed, that when the ball's down, sort of Chelsea's right, and Barcelona have got it down their left, obviously. Malouda is so tucked in, it's frightening. Here's Messi, on towards Etu. Etu's quick, but uh, on that occasion, well done uh, for Singla. Got to phrase him at some stage, I suppose. Get the ball back to check, and check for the clearance to the halfway line. Headed back by Busquets, headed away by Alex. Uh, headed down by Yaya Toure and PK has the ball another minute of stoppage time to be played here Chelsea lead Barcelona 1-0 Iniesta slips still manages to get to his feet again pulls off two Chelsea challenges but not the third that was from Frank Lampard um, Lampard thinks he even Lampard thought he fouled Iniesta was holding his hand up an apology but the referee didn't give a free kick anyway PK over the halfway line running through the centre circle now Daniel Alves is down the right it's played to Messi. Messi so quick, holding off the loader. Brilliant from the Argentine. Messi, uh, what's he doing now? Inviting a bad challenge. He's hoping for a free kick. No, he spins away. Gives it to Alves. Alves whipped in the cross towards the far post, but single chest the ball behind for a corner. I think I think they missed out there with Messi. Too many touches. He could have played Alves in early, and then Alves could have got the early crossing. Last chance of the first half for Barcelona to grab an equaliser. Iniesta's corner played short. And now uh, Xavi's got a second chance to shoot. Shoots it, goal, takes a deflection to another corner. Appeals for handball. No, the referee's blown his whistle. Half time. Etu is furious. He wants a corner, but it's, you know, the referee's played his stoppage time. Listen, if it's half time, it's half time. Full stop. But uh, Chelsea. Ask, ask Clive Thomas. <laughs> Chelsea walk in slightly relieved but it sounds a bit strange saying that when they've had the best chances Alan should have had a penalty as well could have been at least 2-0 up but Barcelona have lots and lots of the ball and the movement of the forward players midfield players have been very very good indeed but at the moment Petr Cech has not had a save to make so from Chelsea's point of view they'll be pleased about that I don't think Hiddink will be though I, I think he'll sit down and give them a little bit of a talking to and just try and arrange down Chelsea's right to make them more difficult to play against and Nelka's got to get in front of Bissingua and deny some space for Etu and Abidal raiding down that side just want to have a quick word with Tom the referee as he goes off Tom when it's inside the penalty area and it's a foul it's a penalty half time 1-0 Chelsea Lampard tries to chip it up ball deflects up in the air Michael Essien with the shot what a goal from Michael Essien! It's an absolute blockbuster from five yards outside the penalty area. Chelsea have the lead against Barcelona. This one's a real semi-final, and unlike last night, as I should say, after Manchester United totally destroyed Arsenal within the first ten minutes. Uh, hang on, here's Simon Brotherton. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Chelsea 45 minutes away from the final. Barcelona hoping not to lose out in Europe on English soil for the third year running. Manchester United beating them in the semi-final last year. Liverpool in the last 16, the year before that. No changes by either side at the break. We're ready to go here. The team's straight out and lined up and ready to go here. Chelsea with checking goal. Bazingwa, Terry, Alex and Cole at the back. Balak and Essien in front of them, Lampard further forward with Anelka on the right, Maluda on the left and Drogba through the centre. Barcelona, Valdez in goal, then it's Alves, Pique, Toure and Abidal at the back. Busquets, Javi and Seydou Keita with Messi, Etu and Iniesta. The story of the match so far, one shot on goal. The goal scored and what by a shot Michael it was. Essien, and what a shot it was as well. But Barcelona, for all their play, and they probably they had probably about 70% of the play in the first half, didn't really do that much with it. And Mark, they just seemed to be constantly trying to roll the ball into the back of the net. Yeah, but I don't know about you. I, I get this feeling. I was talking to Alan Green at half time as well. Look, I think Barcelona have definitely got a goal in them. Haven't they? I do feel Chelsea will need another one. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you, being as they've got 146 already this season. Is that all? In 55 matches, incredible record. But none so far 
in the first leg or the first half of the second. Long way to go, though, in this semi-final, you sense. Iniesta on the left-hand side, supported by Abidal. Lovely little back flick from the Frenchman, Iniesta, just outside the penalty area, left-hand side, tackled by Bazingwa. Down he goes, and it's a free kick to Barcelona. Probably, what, ten yards outside the area, just about? Yeah, and it's a daft tackle. It's daft, because... It, you know, the sing was making Iniesta twist and turn, twist and turn. Didn't want to come inside, decided to turn outside. He'd done his job defensively and then he just caught him on the foot. Not a great spot to give away a free kick either. No. So, Barcelona, 10 yards outside the box. Uh, left of centre, it's nearer the left-hand edge of the penalty area than the D. Uh, Dani Alves is standing near the ball. Iniesta's not far away. Guardiola's doing his fruit on the touch on the touch line. In fact, he was standing on the pitch then, trying to uh, get his instructions across. Uh, Xavi is standing near the ball as well. Four men in the Chelsea wall. Messi comes out of the way. Xavi rolls it into the centre. Back to Alves, who launches the ball. Guardiola goes absolutely mad, and the ball, I kid you not, ends up halfway back upstairs in the shed. It was an appalling shot. Well, the, the thing about that, though, was that, that Guardiola eventually got Iniesta's attention and he put his hand up, which was a signal, and Iniesta acknowledged him, saying, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go and do that one. <laughs> and obviously they didn't. Guardiola waving around, waving his arms around. Highly animated, I think, is the... Uh, still in, still in conversation with, I think, Javi, isn't it? Ball in the centre now, and uh, Iniesta collects it. Brazingma puffing and blowing, trying to keep tra traps on him. As uh, Iniesta just rolls it back now to Abidal, short in ball to uh, Keita. Keita back to Iniesta. Beautiful quick feet away from uh, Brazingma. Tracking back though is uh, Lampard, and Lampard gets tangled up with Iniesta, and it is Chelsea's ball. And Lampard had to do a fair amount of uh, defensive work. There's an argument going on here between uh, Guardiola, the coach of Barcelona, and the captain Javi, who's standing near the centre circle. Mm. Interesting that was as well. Free kick taken by Bazingwa. Didier Drogba beaten in the air, but Chelsea have it. Right hand side, midway inside the Barcelona half with Essien. Tries to slide it through towards Anelka, but again Anelka beaten to the ball. Uh, Barcelona trying to pass their way forward from the back. PK finds Sedu Keita. Keita up to the halfway line, just in from the dugouts. Rolls the ball down the left wing towards Iniesta. Midway inside the Chelsea half. Chelsea leading 1 0 on the night, 1 0 on aggregate, but if Barcelona score, they would be in the driving seat because it would be an away goal. So a 1 1 draw would put Barcelona through. 1 0 it is, though. Javi rolling it to the right-hand side. In space is Alves. Alves forward towards Messi. Uh, rather worryingly, we haven't seen too much of Messi uh, uh, here so far in this second period as he rolls the ball in now to Busquets. Busquets is through the centre, chips the ball into the penalty area and uh, Cater swings his left leg, tries to get to the ball, but Balak is there standing bolt upright and he deflects it behind for a corner. Probably just as well because Pesingo was all over the place again. Barcelona corner in front of the corner where the travelling fans are. A few flash bulbs popping off there behind uh, Xavi as he prepares to take it now. Right-footed in swinger in towards the near post. Essien's there. There's a little shout from Barcelona's players for a handball, but they're not going to get it. They've got another corner, though. I don't know why Essien didn't come and head that, Sam. He just seemed to let it hit his body. Uh, Xavi with another corner for Barcelona here. Over it comes in towards the near post, and this time Essien does it, and he heads the ball clear, and it goes out of play down below us here, at nearer the halfway line than anything else. But Iniesta taking the throw quickly. Back to Eric Abidal. Abidal square into the centre now, and Alves. Alves time to look up, rolls the ball underneath his studs, just pokes it over the halfway line, and uh, a rather casual pass towards Messi on the far side, but Messi's feet are so quick, he evades two tackles. Back into Alves... Alves goes to ground and Barcelona are going to have a free kick on the halfway line. Yeah, foul by Nelka, was it? And Nelka starts in the second half more centrally. Es Essien, if anything, seems to be over this side a little bit at the moment. Chelsea leading by one goal to nil. Gus Hiddink uh, standing up uh, next to the bench at the moment. Uh, very anxious look on his face, which of course is so understandable. This is uh, such a big game for him in his short tenure with Chelsea, whatever happens, he'll leave with a final, his last match, the FA Cup final against uh, Everton on the 30th of May, the Champions League final the previous Wednesday, the 27th. But uh, Chelsea uh, leading the way so far, 1-0 as Xavi 
plays the ball along the ground, away to Alves, right-hand side, midway inside the Chelsea half, leaves it for Messi, wise thing to do, back inside to Xavi again, Busquets in the centre, tall, lean, 20-year-old, to the left-hand side, and Iniesta, Iniesta has Abidal running ahead of him, rolls it in towards the edge of the box, oh, and it nearly fell through to Cato, he wasn't quite alert enough to get hold of the ball, Lampard's back for Chelsea to get it away, via Drogba, now it's with Busingwa, closed down by Cato, and fouled, and it will be a free kick to Chelsea, just in from the touchline, and Pep Guardiola doesn't like it. It was nudge though, there was no doubt about it. Interesting as well, uh, just looking at the two coaches. Hiddink won this competition as long ago as 1988, 21 years ago, and there he is standing alongside... Uh, uh, Guardiola, who has the potential to be a, a yeah. great coach over Absol- many years. I, I, I tell you what, he looks fit enough to play still. Um, not hitting, obviously. <laughs> and Anelka through the middle and, and Drogba on the right. I wonder what the thinking is about behind that. Well, we'll wait and see as Barcelona give the ball away. It's collected by Ashley Cole in the centre. Balak playing it square towards Maluda. Maluda can't feed it forward towards Cole, who'd run across to the left-hand side, but Chelsea got a throw in inside their own half of the field on the left, which Ashley Cole is going to take. Cole uh, looks round, considers what his options are. Down the left wing it goes, and Nelka has gone out towards the left-hand side again. He's beaten to the ball by uh, Yaya Torre, but Chelsea have it back once again, in towards the centre, and Elka racing clear, into the penalty area, square to Drogba, great shooting chance, he's beaten the defender, oh, good save by Valdez, and Valdez stood up strong, and the ball hit his right foot, and away it went, oh, and Chelsea so close, into the side netting, it goes from Florian Maluda. And it's deflected for a corner, but I tell you what, Simon, it's a brilliant save by Valdez, with his right foot, doesn't matter what part of the body, it was absolutely brilliant, Drogba did fantastic, invited and stuck the defender in, an outstanding save. Great chance for Drogba but Valdez equal to it it stays at 1-0 but that's got the crowd going and Chelsea have a corner now on their right which Frank Lampard prepares to take two good saves from Valdez tonight over it comes once more headed away by Busquets in front of the near post towards Iniesta who can't control it Essien heads the ball away towards the left hand side flag goes up near side against Lampard as he tries to go and get the ball into the centre but oh I thought Chelsea were going to be two up there that really opened up for Drogba for a moment well I think I think once Drogba sold the end of the dummy just thought he's just going to place this either, either side of Valdez it was a good ball from Anelka great awareness as well I thought he'll just place this it's on his left foot and he scuffed it really more than anything but it, uh, don't take anything away from the save but it, it was a scuff he's kept a minute hasn't he Valdez in a way because he made yeah. that save from that free kick on the left in the first half as well but the ball went flashing across the uh, six yard box Barcelona trailing Chelsea by one goal to nil here on the night. One nil on aggregate. Michael Essien with the goal. And what a goal it was as well on nine minutes. And now Anelka's back on the right. Drogba through the middle. PK to Yaya Toure. Toure over the halfway line. Tracked by Drogba. Long ball down the right-hand side. Powering forward his Alves to the byline. Gets across into the centre. Oh, it goes just behind Sedu Keita, who was in the middle of the penalty area. Back out to Javi. Chelsea are just holding off a little bit here now. Barcelona coming on to them more. Right-hand side. Dani Alves again. Alves crossing the ball into the centre. It was an awkward one. It was a stooping header away by John Terry. And then volleyed clear high and long by Michael Balak. Nodded down by Toure, who got there ahead of Drogba. Collected by Piquet. Piquet along the floor to the left-hand side. Midway inside the Chelsea half. Iniesta now, scuttling away from Bazingwa. Plays it square. Javi with a shooting chance. And Ashley Cole throws everything in front of the ball, about two yards away from Javi, and deflects it away towards the left-hand corner flag, where it's scooped down the left wing by Maluda, but he's given the ball away. Alves again with a chance to put the ball into the box. And this time, he balloons it miles over the bar into the upper tier of the stand. And I don't know if you saw on the, just saw on the monitor, he, he straight away turned around and blamed somebody else, <laughs> as you do. Well, that's twice he's gone for the, uh, for the upper tier in the second half, Danny Alves. He's got a yellow card in the first. If Barcelona get through, he won't be playing in the final. Happy birthday. Bozingwa in possession on the right for Chelsea, up towards the halfway line, just rolls it to an elk. It was a lazy little flick into the air, which enabled Iniesta to get the ball momentarily. And uh, But really, he's lucky that Chelsea have got it back with Michael Essien. Ball bouncing between the two teams a little bit. The bullish Essien has it on the halfway line. Five live sport, Champions League semi-final, second leg, live from Stamford Bridge. Chelsea won, Barcelona nil here. Ten minutes played in the second half. Here come Chelsea, up towards the edge of the penalty area. Left-hand angle of the box with Maluda. The cross is too high. 
by and it, it lands in the third row of the crowd just beyond the far post I thought he should have I thought once he started run, to run at the defender Alves I thought Maluda should have just played Ashley Cole in and he could have just whipped across in early left foot there's an urgency about Barcelona here as well they might be in possession now with Alves on the right hand side he's seeing a lot of the ball at the moment now Messi through the centre midway inside the Chelsea half and the ball just gets caught between Seydou Keita's feet I think Messi was actually aiming for Iniesta and it inadvertently Seydou Keita got in the way but it's on the halfway line with Chelsea Lampard launches it into the centre it's Torre against Drogba the two Ivorians having a real physical duel and Drogba's up for he wants it Torre goes diving in and Drogba throws himself around on the floor he can't believe that he hasn't got a penalty but he always can't believe he hasn't got a penalty and away come Barcelona and he needs to get up as well by the way get up and get on with the game well for a moment there those two big tall powerful players went mano a mano and then in the end it ended up predictably with Drogba on the floor but now here come Barcelona into the penalty area beautiful Maisie run by Iniesta left right left and in the end he just ran out of space you know what Simon he was brilliant Iniesta he got himself in a shooting position and should have just blasted it at the goal it's a complete waste Moments ago at the other end of the field, Yaya Torre and Didier Drogba having a, a real tussle there, the pair of them, but uh, Drogba sometimes you just wish that he would uh, stay on his feet. Uh, Torre went diving in to make the tackle on him that time. I think they were both pulling and, and pushing and then shoving each other. I'll tell you what, the actual tackle at the end was very good from Torre. PK in possession on the halfway line, Chelsea 1, Barcelona 0, 12 minutes played in the second half. Essien with the goal in the ninth minute. 1-0 on aggregate as well. At the moment, Chelsea are going into the final. If Barcelona equalised, they would be going through with the away goal because it was 0-0 in Barcelona last week. Anelka, right of centre, playing the ball forward. Midway inside the Barcelona half, tracking back towards the halfway line is Balak, supported by Buzingwa, who can't get the full ball forward to Anelka. It deflects off Busquets and... Uh, well, you know that time's ticking away because Guardiola is up on his feet. He's up and down like a yo-yo here in this second half. This great season that Barcelona are having, the big prize could be slipping away from them here. That's why he's so fit. Never sits down. Bazingwa with the throw. And uh, everybody in the East Stand here at Stamford Bridge getting to their feet and cheering on their team because Chelsea in the box seat at the moment now. Barcelona with the ball. Uh, kicking from right to left in this second half. Yellow shirts, navy shorts, yellow socks. Chelsea, uh, blue shirts and shorts and white socks. It's with Yaya Torre, turns away from trouble. Uh, finds Javi, Javi into the centre circle and Sergi Busquets, Busquets forward, short now to Messi. Messi with that scuttling little run of his. Forward it goes, to the penalty area, slipped by Alex, oh, he nearly went through to Samuel Eto, but Bazingwa was there to clear the ball away to the far side. Well done, Bazingwa this time. Pessimistic for a defender, which is the way you've got to be. Oh, it was nearly Kieran Gibbs all over again there as Alex uh, slipped at the vital moment, but he was helped out by his Portuguese teammate. Javi has possession. He's trying to find the little key to open the door of this Chelsea defence. Away to the right-hand side, and Alves. Alves can't get the cross in past Maluda. Maluda's down there near the uh, corner flag. Down it goes. Down goes Alves. Alves says, why haven't I got a free kick? But Barcelona, I do believe, have got a corner on that far side. They have. Just a little bit of a worry for Chelsea that the game is starting to open up a bit more. And I don't think Chelsea can afford to do that, Simon. They played the best part of an hour here. It's still 1-0, but Barcelona pushing hard. They've got a corner, right-hand side, and it's not a very good one at all from Javi. Chelsea able to clear it easily from the near side of the penalty area. It's uh, launched midway inside the Barcelona half. Victor Valdez, all in black, the Barca goalkeeper, uh, clears the ball right-footed, high and long, down the right wing. It's headed away by Ashley Cole into the crowd on the far side, and Barcelona have a throw-in here. It is the slenderest of margins by which Chelsea lead this Champions League tie. The contrast with last night could hardly be greater. Are we going to see a repeat of last year's final? Manchester United lying in wait for the winners. Barcelona in possession. Advantage played by the referee from Norway, Tom Henning Overbeuk. On the halfway line, it's with Piquet, right-footed again, sprays it down the right-hand flank. He's looking for the support this time of Alves, and once again, it's not a very good ball into the centre. Bazingwa chests it down and hoiks it clear from down near the corner flag. Doesn't reach the halfway line, and Nelka's there. He finds uh, Javi in his way, and Javi reclaims possession. Piquet under pressure from Lampard. Busquets tries to help him out. Barcelona, as they always do, passing their way out of trouble. Neat little interchange there between Javi and Eric Abidal. Abidal in possession. Chelsea 
City leading by one goal to nil here with an hour played exactly. Messi to the near side, excellent ball, level with the edge of the penalty area. Iniesta skirting infield, tries a little one-two, ball bounces for Cater who tries a shot on the turn. He spun, he was just inside the penalty area towards the right of the D and he put it high over the bar. I mean, Iniesta came in, he had half a yard in which to strike the shot at goal and decides to play, we're talking about the perfect goal again, decides to play the ball into Messi for the one-two. Hit the ball, have a shot. Great noise inside Stamford Bridge. Great noise. Anxiety, anticipation, excitement, it's all mixed into uh, a melting pot here. Chelsea leading by that one goal scored by Michael Essien after nine minutes have possession Lampard with a little volley to the left and Ashley Cole Cole's got a little bit of space here and he slips as he crosses in towards the centre Drogba chests it down Essien's in support Drogba stays on the floor Barcelona come away with the ball they've got a player injured as well I think it's uh, Busquets who's holding his mouth Drogba's holding his head I think Busquets may have just headed the back of Drogba's head by mistake yeah the referee stops the game Maybe a little chance here for the two coaches to uh, make their feelings known to their players momentarily. If they get a chance, I would have thought so, certainly. Hitting so close to uh, another final, he was very unlucky. I mean, he, as we said earlier, he won it with PSV. But uh, Drogba staying on the floor at the moment, by the way, receiving some treatment. But um, I reckon he'll be all right. He'll be absolutely fine. And well done, the referee. He's trying to wave everybody away, say, look, you know, I'm sorting this out. Go away. Don't come whinging to me and moaning about anything. There's Drogba getting on his feet. Shock. Hitting lost out uh, on the away goals rule with PSV to uh, AC Milan four years ago. And PSV very unlucky in that uh, two-legged tie. And nobody fancied them, did they? They were brilliant. No, they lost 2-0 in the first leg and won the second leg 3-1 at home. And Milan scored right at the end of the game. And they, but they, they missed about ten chances, if I remember, on that night. Gomez played in goal for them. Yeah, well, that's all right in that league. There was no crosses, was there? They were very unfortunate. He'll be desperate that uh, an away goal doesn't uh, doesn't do for him again here. And uh, Barcelona, if you've just tuned in, trailing Chelsea to by a goal to nil. But if they were to score, Chelsea would need to find another one. Xavi playing it forward now towards Samuel Eto'o. Ball breaks away from the Cameroon striker and Ashley Cole clears it through the air down the left wing. Maluda goes chasing after it and he sends Busquez sprawling over on the far side. It's Barcelona's ball. Daft. Busquez was struggling to get the ball, even if it goes out for throwing, leave it. The moment now, it's got to be a free kick, and you can clonk this 70 yards. Well, anybody but Barcelona might have done. Chelsea have done well so far, haven't they, to restrict Barcelona in the way they have in terms of the, you know, I mean, Czech has had a lot of busier matches than yeah. this one so far. But, this uh, but, I will, but I will say also, Simon, that, that they've contributed to, the, to that themselves a little bit, Barcelona. They want an extra pass or an extra touch. European version of Arsenal at times, perhaps? At times, yes. Piquet to the near side, collected by Iniesta. Iniesta 10 yards outside the penalty area, left of centre, rolls it into the box, and there too says, well, I can't reach that. And it goes through to Czech, who stands there, takes his time and picks the ball up. Come in and have a shot. Come in and have a shot. They won't shoot. Unless they can unless they can almost roll the ball over the line, it would seem. Forward comes Chelsea again. Drogba inside the penalty area, tries to bring it under control. Abidal makes a hash of clearing it. Drogba has it. Right hand angle of the penalty area. Back with Essien, the goal scorer. Essien's got two Barcelona players in front of him. Back towards uh, Anelka. Now out on this right touch line to Essien again. Essien's cross goes right across the face of the six-yard box and out of play over on the far side. Tell you what, what a good cross as well. For, for once... Frank Lampard was stood still. Normally, he's hunting and sniffing. He's in on the end of those crosses. I think he's hunting, he's hunting and looking for the tooth he probably lost in the first half. Um, he's a uh, real bang in the mouth that uh, Lampard had. But anyway, he's playing on as uh, Torre clears the ball, comes bouncing back towards him. The referee from Norway spots a foul, and it will be uh, uh, Barcelona's ball uh, deep inside their own half of the field. 19 minutes played in the second half here. 1 0 Chelsea. Uh, Barcelona. Haven't had a shot on target so far in this match. Nope. Which is a surprise when you consider how many goals that they have scored this season. Abidal, over the halfway line, into the centre towards Busquets. Real test here for Barcelona, who've had this excellent season. Chelsea playing well and having the advantage. Messi in possession. 
into the centre now with Javi up towards the edge of the penalty area Eto back to goal plays it square in towards Messi again Messi's closed down but Messi just squirts away from Ashley Cole and gets the shot in he was right behind the D 25 yards out but it goes high and wide well, it's more like it isn't it at, at least at least you're trying to score now well at least he bought a ticket yeah and I'll tell you what if, uh, if the story is right about Manchester City trying to sign Et Etu after the first sort of one and two third games we've seen I'm not won't be too sure about that by the way against an English team who are big and strong and can defend ball played long and now Catracing into the area goes down under pressure from Abidal and what's the referee given here I think it's a free kick right on the edge of the penalty area and Abidal looked like he was the last red. defender it's a red card Abidal sent off he did look like the last defender Barcelona are going to be down to 10 men here for the final quarter of the match. And, the, and the, Guardiola is not complaining. He straight away he said to his assistant, what should we do? I think the, the, the both of them got head, their heads together and thought, what shall we do? So, I mean, there's no doubt about it. He was pulled back. Two players Clipped. are down. One of them, I think, is PK uh, in midway inside the Chelsea half of the field. Uh, there's a Chelsea player as well. It looks like it might be Didier uh, Drogba who's on the floor. So two players are receiving treatment, and Abidal has been given his marching orders. He doesn't want to come off, though. Chelsea supporters wondering whether this is going to be their night. Barcelona's players still arguing with the referee from Norway. He's not going to change his mind, boys. Abidal's still there no, trying no. to change the referee's I think, mind. I, I, think if, I think we all thought maybe they pulled an El Cabal. It looked like a man had just clipped his heels. Abidal's off. The first Barcelona player to be sent off in the Champions League for 11 years. The last one was Guardiola, the coach, who just stands there and looks at the floor. Abidal disappears down the tunnel. More importantly, Guardiola didn't even give half a blink to Abidal. So there's, there's been no complaints. He's trying to work out now what to do. Deep in thought, hands in pockets, looking at the floor. Just uh, rubs his hand across his face. Talks with his assistants. No argument at all from the Barcelona coach here as Drogba is helped to his feet and this time is limping with his arms over the shoulders of the Chelsea medical staff very, very gingerly towards the near side. We wait to see the outcome of that. Well, the other thing, Hiddink's just sent one of his assistants to go and get one of the players, I presume, walk, uh, warming up away to our right-hand side we can't see. Meanwhile... Kalu, I think. Sorry, Kalu, Simon, maybe. Drogba is standing on his feet but doesn't look terribly comfortable. Uh, a member of the Chelsea backroom team now comes jogging back towards the uh, dugout. Chelsea's uh, substitutes limbering up. They've got a free kick in a great position here with uh, Maluda standing by the ball. And the shot about to come in from Lampard who puts it wide. We're midway through the second half here in this Champions League semi-final second leg. Chelsea lead Barcelona, 1-0 on the night, 1-0 on aggregate, Barcelona down to 10 men for the rest of the game. What a finale, taking us through to the final whistle, Alan Green. Drog was back on. Uh, is it just nervous tension that makes me think it's not over yet? Actually, uh, Drog doesn't look too clever, does he? No. The problem is he goes over so often now and you're thinking... Is you he, don't know whether he's he making it up. Here's uh, Xavi to Messi Barcelona with 10 men needing to score Iniesta into Messi again Messi the number 10 for Barcelona back now to Iniesta uh, now Etu Etu surrounded by blue shirts plays it back Xavi the captain onto the left side and here's Keita Keita's probably dropped back into that left fullback role uh, Abidal sent off shot driven in by Xavi hits a Chelsea player Drug was still hobbling around Here's Xavi again to Alves down the far side. 21 minutes to go. Plus, heaven only knows how much stoppage time. Chelsea are definitely going to make a change. Belletti's got to come on. Here's Iniesta. As I say, he'll play on the right and stick uh, Anelka through the middle. Alves to Iniesta once more. And they're trying to walk it through Barcelona. Messi. A dazzling little run every now and again. But where does it go? To Keita. Keita back to Xavi. 25 yards from goal, 30 yards from goal to Alves. Alves to the far side and Iniesta. 
Iniesta once more to Alves and Alves crosses wildly over hit and that's behind is it for a goal kick it is all that for that yeah and we've had, we've had the one shot uh, from Barcelona and we've had nothing from inside the penalty area no nope, nothing, nothing all, whatsoever nothing at all uh, Belletti do you think he's going to try to just tighten things up here well I think uh, I think he'd just come and play on the right one. He's got Drogba at the moment. Oh, we can run now. Look, he stopped limping because the ball came near him. Yeah, I was going to say... Do, do you know, it's hard to love him, isn't it? You know, Well, because you just don't know. If do you're you? not a Chelsea fan, it is hard to love him. He's a terrific player, but my goodness. He's chasing after the ball now. Valdez screws the clearance straight into the West End. And it's a throw-in to Chelsea in the far side of the field. And we've got less than 20 minutes to go here on Five Live. Reminding you of the score, Chelsea won Barcelona nil. That's also the aggregate score. Throw-in goes to Maluda on the far side. Maluda gets away from two challenges. Plays it back. Lampard should take the reflection. Valdez saves. Yeah, that's a good save in the end. Complete had to change direction himself with the, de with the deflection. Valdez clears it upfield quickly. Iniesta cheers, uh, chases after it. Head out of the play by Basingua. You know, we thought that Iniesta down the left side might be a bit of a weakness. But Singwa hasn't dealt with him at all, all here night. Here comes Belletti. For Drogba. Drogba doesn't want to come, doesn't off, want to come now. off now. But I'm sorry, you play acted too much, Exactly. Son. Get off. Goodness gracious. I wasn't really hurt, I was just, you know... Uh, anyway, he's going to be replaced. So Anelka's going through the middle, Belletti down the right. Look at Drogba's face. <laughs> now, go on, you explain to the coach. That you're only just play acting. Mm. Well, he's only wants to shake everybody's hand. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. No, I'm okay. Going up the tunnel, that's nice of him. Yeah, good of him to sit on the bench and support his colleagues. Anyway, uh, play continues. Lamp Lampard, back to Basingua. Good ball to Essien. Excellent control by the goal scorer. Just over the halfway line, and he was looking for a free kick. Didn't get it, and it's out of play. Oh no, Drogba has come out. Maybe someone's reminded him it's not the dumb thing to go up the tunnel, son. No, You've got to sit out there and support your team. They locked the door. <laughs> Here's PK forward. PK overran that ball, and it was a foul tackle by PK. Quite right, the referee gives a free kick to Chelsea. Yeah, he's, he's looked like it for a moment. His foot was coming over the ball when Definitely. he went to tackle Ashley Cole. Definitely. So, just to reiterate, Abidal's been sent off. Kaita has gone to left back. Uh, Messi's now sort of centre of a. It's like 4 1 3 1. Yes, Messi, Messi just, just predominantly going to yep. play off Etu. Barcelona, a man short and a goal short. And remember, Alves will already miss the final uh, because of a yellow card uh, he received in the first half. That's, of course, if Barcelona were to go through uh, to Rome. And now they'd also be missing Avidal. Marquez is going to be out for the season. A bit short of defenders, aren't they? Ball played to Alves on the far side of the field and he gets it all wrong and the ball squirted forward in the direction of Anelka but ahead of the Frenchman and through to Valdez. Well, they're going to start taking chances now, aren't they, Barcelona? They Ab have to. Absolutely. That's a foul by Essien on uh, any Iniesta's rolling around. There's no need for that. It's a free kick. Nothing worse than that. Well, I don't get think up. it was that bad yet. Get up. Look, he's already rolled over at least twice and, uh, and the Norwegian referee's absolutely right. There's nothing wrong with him. Did he get a yellow card out there? The referee? Yes, Fressian. Fressian. Yeah. Right, well, at least there was no yellow card against his name before the game started. Uh, Balak and Nelka and Alex were the vulnerable players in the Chelsea team. Free kick taken. And here's Xavi, the captain of the Catalans, to Etu. Back to Busquets. Etu again. What has he done all night? Why would you pay 30 million quid for him? Alves to Etu. Etu plays it back into his own half to Yaya Toure and has played through the centre circle to Pique. I count 16 minutes left plus considerable stoppage time. Messi now taking it up, running away from Terry. Terry trying to run with him. Played to the right side to Alves. Alves cross in towards the near post. Headed clear by Michael Ballack. Very quietly, Michael Ballack's had an excellent game. You know, he hasn't done much in an attacking sense, but defensively, he's been great. Here's Lampard down the far side of the field. Valletti running into an attacking position. And Nelkel's already there. Good ball by Lampard to Essien. Essien might have a pop here. No, 
He's being hustled by Alves, but still gets the pass to Valetti. Valetti's cross takes a deflection, bounces awkwardly for Chelsea at least, and Javi hooks the clearance to the halfway line. Terry heads it down on the far side of the field. It's with Maluda. Maluda running forward to Anelka. Anelka to Lampard, on to Essien. Another goal now will kill them off. Here's Anelka into the penalty chair. The flag's up for offside. Yeah, Belletti was a ball, actually. Belletti, Belletti was on. Just before that move started, Alan, he was out the bench, moaning at Anelka. Work harder. Xavi hasn't stopped working tonight, to be fair to him. Plays it in the yesterday down the left side. Iniesta steps away from the singles he's done all evening. Back to Xavi, and Xavi hits it from left to right. Great ball to Alves on the far side of the field. The fullback, he's more like a right winger and has been since half time. Into Iniesta, it was, wasn't a great pass. Iniesta, not surprisingly, loses it. Here's Lampard on towards Anelka. Anelka feeds it to the left to Maluda. On towards Anelka, not a good pass. And it's uh, played back by PK de Valdez. Just got a little bit too excited, Maluda, didn't he? He could have, there was no pressure on him with the ball as well. Could have just kept hold of it. Remember that if Barcelona were to score, that would be enough. Alex with a clearance, not a great one. Messi picks it up, fouled by Alex. Alex is going to miss the final. Yellow card. Yeah, just took him out completely. No argument. In fact, I think it was his poor first touch. In the first instance, it was where he lunged to the ball and just played Messi in, and then he just took him across his midriff, basically. Well, I'm just hoping that Daniel Alves can continue to shoot badly. But he's got another opportunity here. 13 minutes to go. So Alex, if Chelsea get through to Rome, will not play against Manchester United in the Champions League final. Carvalho didn't figure tonight because of injury. You know, they'll want him back. Free kick to Barcelona. 25 yards from goal. Xavi is there, but it's surely the orange boots that will flash this ball goalwards towards Czech Daniel Alves with an opportunity here for Barcelona an away goal would take them through Alves stepping back from the ball now only five paces back six stops legs not akimbo not like Ronaldo here comes the Brazilian right footed drives it in too high yeah bit of pace it dipped as well but was never threatening Czech's goal uh, Etu places the ball in the six-yard box for um, Czech to take the goal kick. That's the most he's moved all the game. Yeah, yeah it'd be a good buy, wouldn't he, for uh, the Abu Dhabi owners? You've got to buy. It doesn't matter how much money you've got. You've got to buy the right players. Czech with a goal kick. Anelka jumps, heads it down, but only to Daniel Alves. Chelsea with a man advantage, but they mustn't. They mustn't just sit back here. There are opportunities to get the second goal, and that would kill Barcelona. PK strides forward towards the halfway line. 12 minutes left for play here in five line. Good ball towards Alves on the right side. Lovely volley pass back to Xavi. Xavi into Busquets, ahead of the centre circle. Where's he going? Playing it back to PK. Chelsea seem happy to let Barcelona have possession. They haven't been hurt by Barcelona's possession the whole game. One shot at goal isn't tantamount to much, is it? That wasn't a good pass by Pique. Anelka chases after it. Yaya Turi slips. Anelka has it. Anelka running forward into the penalty area. And he goes down. Is that a penalty? What? He's given it. Has he? No, it's a goal kick. kick. You know what? He was, he was, he was, he was thinking about it. He missed that. Well, I don't think he was. And he completely miscontrolled the ball in the end, Anelka, and just threw himself down to the floor a la Drogba. Man, even when uh, Avery both sees a foul tackle in the penalty area, he doesn't give a penalty kick. Remember the foul on Maluda in the first half? Inside the box. Gives a free kick outside. Xavi to Etu in the far side of the field. Messi is alone inside the Chelsea penalty chair amongst the Chelsea defenders. Etu plays the ball back. Here's Alves. Alves now to Busquets. Busquets to Piquet. We're counting down the minutes. We've got 11 to go. And then I would think at least three to four minutes of stoppage time. Messi almost submerged in blue shirts. Get the pass back to Xavi. On to Iniesta, left side. Basingua across. Hasn't been much of an impediment tonight, Basingua, on Iniesta. Iniesta's pass. Find Xavi. Xavi flicks the ball towards the right side. Taken on the chest by Alves. Alves crosses deep into the penalty. Guess who was jumping for it for Barcelona? Messi. Piquet from the headed clearance. Up to the edge of the D. Shoots just wide. Check it a cover. 
Well, the other thing, at, at the start of the move, Maluda, Maluda has to be aware that Alves basically, he's not playing right back anymore, he's just a right-sided midfield player who's bombing on, and, and Maluda has to be responsible for picking Alves up. Forget about going forward at the moment. Ten minutes to go. Chelsea won, Barcelona nil. The only goal of this semi-final scored by Michael Essien nine minutes into the first half of the second leg. Brilliant volley. It won't only be the Barcelona fans biting their nails because 1-0 is just not comfortable enough for Chelsea. Busquets to Yaya Toure over the halfway line. More in his regular midfield position. Awful pass from Alves. Lazy. And then as Lampard fed it forward and now comes offside only a couple of yards inside the opposition half. Free kick taken quickly. Messi runs forward. Didn't get the pass right there to and then left his boot in on Michael Ballack. That's a free kick. Yeah, a waste from Messi as well, of all people. Uh, Chelsea walk away from the ball, of course, as they would do in those circumstances. Etcher retrieves it. Check to take the free kick. Nine minutes left for play. No hurry, Peter. Take it easy. That's it. False run. Go back again. Wave your arms. That wasted another few seconds. Now he hits it left-footed towards Maluda on the far side. Maluda jumps well, heads it down, and now he's in the final handball. Was it by PK? Well, the whole of the Matthew St Harding stand thought it was handball by the defender. So did I. I mean, my only argument might be that it was so so close to him, but it certainly looked like he controlled the ball with his hand. Well, we're we'll getting another side of it now. It was an Elka flicking at handball. Oh. Handball. Oh. <laughs> So that's two penalties that the Norwegian hasn't given. Oh, well. I'll give him the final, UEFA. That would be an appropriate reward for a tough performance by a referee. Ball's played towards the halfway line, and uh, Terry just lets it run out of play, and Terry just glaring upfield at the ball-headed uh, Norwegian referee. I like having a word with his referee as well. Yeah, you would do. More than I mean, one. Dear, oh dear. I don't, do you, I don't suppose you happen to know the assistant manager is of Barcelona, but he's certainly got Guardiola's ear. Yeah. Well, well he's the Mr. Tactics, man. Here comes uh, Balak forward. Balak goes down, loses the ball, but it breaks to Lampard. Lampard left edge of the penalty area. Can he get a ball in? No, he can't, but he's got a corner. Corner to Chelsea. And as long as they keep it in that half of the field, Chelsea are going through. Well... It did, it did look like a penalty kick. Then we saw the replay, and it was obviously a penalty kick. Bojan, I think, Alan's yeah, coming on. Kirkic. You call him Bojan, we'll call him Kirkic. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know what's on his shirt? I know, Bojan, but he is Kirkic, trust me. So, corner to Chelsea. From the left, Maluda finally takes it in towards uh, the near post but headed away by Barcelona Messi plays it back now it's with Iniesta foul tackle by Lampard definitely foul tackle by Lampard despite the protest of the Chelsea fans I thought he got the ball what does it say in your, um, your sheet by the way you see Kirkic look but he puts his first name on the uh, on the shirt he missed a terrific chance late in the game did he ever camp, didn't did he? he ever terrible header Here's Anelka. Anelka loses the ball to PK. PK back to Toure. Taken up though by Xavi. Six and a half minutes to go. Plus stoppage time. Chelsea won Barcelona nil. One nil will be fine. One one won't. Barcelona need to score. Here's PK for the ten men. On to the number ten. Messi. Messi awful pass. Lazy. Complacent driven straight to a Chelsea player and Chelsea on the counter-attack Lampard trying to feed it through towards Anelka I think it hit Toure as much as anything else and Toure keeps the ball in play I think Anelka might have been off anyway Alan into Xavi their approach is at least consistent Barcelona, they're still trying to walk the ball in Xavi uh, to Alves, back to Xavi and on now to Iniesta. Iniesta steps away from Balletti, and then inevitably he was going to run into a Chelsea player. But Alex's clearance not great. Picked up by PK. PK plays a 1 2. Still going forward. Was that a handball? That one was a handball. And it's a free kick. Yeah, he's giving it because it wasn't in the penalty area, isn't he? Yeah. Mr. Anything knock in the penalty area? No, no, I'm not giving that. Mr. Norwegian knock on wood. Yeah. Uh, Kirkic replacing 
push gets. So he takes off a sort of holding midfield player, and Kirkic, uh, diminutive though he is, is clearly a striker. He's having a word with Iniesta. I think Iniesta and Xavi now are running the midfield, aren't they? Etu's yeah. on the left. Etu left, Messi right, Kirkic through the middle. Yeah. Kirkic is probably the smallest player in the field. So he's ideal for any uh, hopeful crosses into the penalty area. But it was a header that he missed at the new Camp on the far post. Inside the final five minutes here in five live. Chelsea lead 1-0. Lampard on towards Anelka. Good interception. Oh, and then it breaks it. Anelka again and Anelka. Tackle and the ball breaks out of play on the far side of the field off Kaita. Throw into Chelsea. Well, if he just controlled the ball, Anelka. He just, he just didn't expect it, did he? You still feel the anxiety around Stamford Bridge. Chelsea fans know their team has the advantage, but an away goal would cancel it out. Throw goes to Cole. Cole heads it on. Edge of the penalty. Chair. Cleared by Toure. Not picked up, though, by Iniesta. Lampard for Chelsea. Lampard chips it forward. It hit Alves. That wasn't a handball. Alves there. Now, short of the halfway line. Lays it forward. Terry rushes forward. Makes the interception. Plays it towards Maluda. Maluda back now to Lampard. Maluda. Lampard into the penalty. Chair. Good run. Good pass. Hessian shot. Uh, as he slipped. Blocked by the defender, PK, and the chance is gone. It's as though, though with Essien, he didn't really want it on his left foot, and he was trying to shift his weight to make sure it went on his right, and he ended up slipping. PK over the halfway line. He's anxious to face a former club in Manchester United, but he knows that Barcelona have to score in order for that to happen in Rome on the 27th of May. PK's now up front on his own, headed away by Terry, that, that cross towards PK. And he has to pick up the clearance. Iniesta plays it in field and now it's with Xavi Xavi on to Keita Keita now to the left side and Etu Etu hasn't done a lot tonight has he Etu crosses poor cross block, partially blocked by Valletti and then Keita can run it back and uh, play it all the way to his goalkeeper Valdez he's only got three minutes to go plus the stoppage time that will be inevitable Keita in to Messi instant control by the Argentine centre of the Chelsea half lovely ball forward Iniesta Iniesta Messi balls over it's still in the penalty chair check dives on it thank goodness for that Etu's trying to chase the referee thinking it was a foul look at Guardiola's clapping clapping so the no Chelsea's yeah. clapping look oh well anyway they've got their arms around uh, each other now Hiddink and Guardiola I think there's mutual respect there actually oh they might just love each other yeah well, there's a scandal. Belletti to Anelka. Uh, back to Essien. On to Lampard. Plenty of room now for Chelsea. In the Barcelona half. Fed to the left to Maluda. Maluda controls it. Uh, why didn't he just get the cross in? Now he passes it in to Lampard. In the penalty here. Lampard tackle. Four breaks behind off Iniesta. Corner to Chelsea. Two minutes to go. I wonder how much time we're going to get added on. Well, looking at Guardiola's body language, he's resigned to losing this game. Looks like it. Uh, winning La Liga is one thing, failing in the Champions League another. And what's happened Offside. there? Offside. Lampard. Offside. Careless by Chelsea. Lampard took the corner kick, got it back from Maluda. Lampard offside, free kick Barcelona. Here's Javi. And Javi runs the ball about 30 yards towards uh, PK. PK into the centre circle now and Pique lays it to uh, Kirkic Kirkic uh, to Messi Messi spins away from a Chelsea player beats it to the left side to Etu Etu level with the edge of the Chelsea penalty chair back towards Messi the pass took a deflection Messi had to exert great control Messi oh not a good ball it's cleared by Chelsea but here's Alves swinging the cross in no he doesn't instead he plays it to the right side to Iniesta into the penalty chair Iniesta back to Alves Alves is he going to shoot it's a cross too deep a cross Etu plays it back the ball's behind the goal line goal kick Chelsea and it was awful awful from Alves still want to score the perfect goal they will not at any stage just resort to trying to shoot you know those two big white things either side with that thing across the middle I, I can tell you we'll have four minutes and you know how I know because Ray Wilkins has just gone up to the, to the fourth official and I could lip read him how are we having four minutes that's what we're going to get so we've got four and a half minutes still to play foul by Nelka on Kaita just needs a Barcelona goal Chelsea know that that's why the players are nervous that's why 
the majority of the crowd inside Stamford Bridge is nervous PK on the attack now heads the ball forward Terry heads it away Belletti jumps heads it down that's better Essien with the overhead kick towards the centre circle Yaya Turi heads it back Essien picks up that clearance and then he gives it away when he could have found Balak not clever Messi collects now Messi runs forward urgency PK for Barcelona dilly dally tackled by Lampard uh, Lampard clears to Belletti PK fouls Belletti thank you very much that's a free kick and it is going to get booked that's constant complaining to the referee yeah but I have to say his constant complaining has far outperformed his actual play on the night yeah in other words he's a loud mouth but not a great footballer yeah, he's, not, he's not worked his socks off no. for the team I'll tell you that much he'd be looking around the dressing room in a couple of minutes if Barcelona look at this and think you know you put it in you put it in by the way you didn't uh, have we seen the fourth official she come out yeah we have and it is confirmation of what I thought four minutes we're into stoppage time in fact we nearly had a minute of those four minutes Chelsea free kick taken to Maluda. Maluda exchanges passes with Essien. Where's he going? Loses the ball, does he? No. Belletti picks it up and Elka's free. Belletti hasn't spotted him and wastes the opportunity. Shoots wide. Yeah, the only good thing about that is he's gone behind. Oh, have you just seen an Elka? Totally unmarked. It remains Chelsea 1, Barcelona 0. And we've less than three minutes of stoppage time to go here at Stamford Bridge. Before the celebrations, we hope. Balak heads the ball to Belletti. Belletti goes down. Soft free kick. Chelsea take it. Well played, Belletti. Just invited the challenge from Cater. And Cater didn't disappoint him, did he? Uh, Basingua takes the free kick to Belletti. Belletti crosses into the penalty area and it's knocked away to safety. Temporary safety by Alves. Hook further away from problems. But here's Lampard. Lampard can't get the pass to Maluda and it's run away by Iniesta. Iniesta being hustled by Maluda. And yes, there still is the ball. Good tackle, Frank Lampard. Well done. Hard but fair. Now Piquet. Back to Xavi. Two minutes of stoppage time remaining. Xavi finds Alves down the right side. Hard with the touchline. That's a bit of cross. In it goes. Terry with the header away. Still not cleared. And he brings it down. Mistake in the penalty here. Messi's there. Messi back. Shot coming in. And it's a goal. Iniesta has dropped the away. It's Chelsea 1, Barcelona 1, and Chelsea are going to lose. Well, wow, just such a sucker punch. They spent 92, 93 plus minutes not really shooting at goal, and in the end, it's a brilliant, brilliant strike. But the, the way the bench ent entered in front of us here, Guardiola and everybody, was reminiscent of Mourinho and the goal scored by Porto at Old Trafford all those years ago. I reckon we've got a minute and a half. There's going to be trouble here. I mean, the whole of the dugout, uh, the Barcelona dugout, ran onto the pitch. It was shocking. Absolutely shocking. Look, Valdez is up celebrating with a corner flag in the Chelsea half. And there's a yellow card. I don't know who for. Now, I really don't know who for. Uh, because, remember, Alves is already suspended for the final. Abidal's been sent off. I don't know. Was it... Um, I don't Iniesta, know, the goal no, no, scorer for just taking his shirt just off. couldn't see. Iniesta for taking his shirt off. Right, yeah. it seemed the hitting was barged by a Barcelona substitute. But well done hitting. No reaction whatsoever. It was OK, OK, these things happen, let's get on with it. Good Johnson's going to come on. Ironically, the former Chelsea player. Do you remember Good Johnson missing it? Anfield, you know, yes, in deep in stoppage time. Had he scored, Chelsea would have gone through in the away goal. It looks as if Barcelona are going to play Manchester United in the final courtesy of a stoppage time away goal here at Stamford Bridge. And, well, the fourth official isn't ready to make the change. So we've kicked off finally. Uh, we've got at least another minute or so of stoppage time remaining. The four minutes have gone. Chelsea still have a chance. Got to score. Alex crosses. Hit the defender. Goes behind. Corner now to Chelsea. Matthew Harding end of the field. What's Guardiola? He's got, look, he's screaming at the fourth Trying to make the change. He, he wants to make the, the change. Why not? That I do not understand. Chelsea corner. Will there be another dramatic goal? Barcelona have one foot in the final in Rome. And here's the change. 
Any Esther, the goal scorer, is coming off. Any Esther's inside the penalty area. He's pretending that he doesn't know. Now he finally makes his way towards uh, the touchline. Oh, what drama. Incredible drama here at Stamford Bridge. And Chelsea fans, who were nervous throughout the second half, aware of the possibility of a Barcelona goal, have suffered a Barcelona goal. Also, Silvino stripped off, ready to come on. Well, Ineos is being replaced by Johnson before this corner kick. We've already had five minutes of added time. Check. Petr Cech, with a head guard, is up for the corner for Chelsea. Good Johnson sprinting into the penalty chair. There goes the corner into the penalty. Check heads it on. It's slashed by Balak. He appeals for handball. Not given. Balak's chasing after the Norwegian referee. He's still shouting at the referee. But it's not given. And now we remember the two penalty kicks yeah. that Chelsea should have had and didn't get. He's got a yellow for us as well, Balak. Needs to pull him away from the referee. He's not going to change his mind. And Balak and uh, having been yellow card. Balak having been yellow card and he would miss the final yeah. but it, it seems immaterial now no, it, does, yeah. it seems immaterial now uh, Silvino is coming on for Etu and I have the foggiest notion of how much time we've got left I know that we've played six minutes of added time four minutes were allocated but we've had all this chaos it's still going on and only the referee will know how much time he will add now we've had two substitutions that equates to one minute by the way this is how good the fourth officials Look are. Look at this. Have you ever seen as many people in the technical areas like, in your it's, life? It's like American football sidelines. Let's get some more people on there. Chelsea have a throw-in on the far side of the field. Well, uh, cheats, 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 the Chelsea fans are shouting. But Barcelona will feel they're getting retribution here for what they feel was wrong in the new camp. No, there's a foul on the far side yeah. of the field and it's a free kick to Chelsea. Foul and Ashley Cole. Check is going to come up again, as he did at the corner. Seven minutes of added time have been played. Cole takes the free kick. Terry heads it on. Where's it going? Xavi hooks the clearance. There's the final whistle. Barcelona celebrate. It'll be Manchester United against Barcelona in Rome on the 27th of May to decide the Champions League trophy. Well, it feels like robbery if you're a Chelsea supporter and a Chelsea player. And there's no doubt about that whatsoever. I mean, take nothing away from Barcelona's extremely well-crafted goal. The first time they'd had a real shot in earnest throughout the whole game. Top corner. Nothing could check could do about it. But the, the referee in tonight's game is going to get all the headlines. Because at least on two occasions for Chelsea, absolute stone wall penalties. Nothing sure. Absolute stone wall penalties. Chelsea will feel like they've been cheated here tonight with this result. Well, Czech's having a go at the fourth official. Um, head guard up. He's actually given him a two-fingered salute. That's not clever. Uh, I mean, it's nothing to do with the fourth official, for goodness sake. No. Alex is walking off. Where's the referee, by the way? He's got stewards all around him. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't rush out of your dressing room after the game, uh, Mr. Aubrey Boat because you might have um, a testing time getting back to your hotel tonight. But Barcelona's 3,000 travelling fans celebrate. The team, well, they dominated possession, but in terms of actual threat towards Czech goal, nothing, nothing until stoppage time, and then they score. Yeah, Hiddink here having a word with the fourth official. I mean, one thing about Hiddink, you know, he really, really seriously has kept his dignity. Oh, there's Drogba over to the referee. Somebody pull him away. Get him out of here. There he he's going. He was shaking his right fist. He's now straight into the eyes of the Norwegian referee. There, there'll be repercussions for that. You yeah, can't yeah. do that. No. You can't do Hiddings it. He's trying to get rid of it. Game out. Yeah. Take him away. He's now got a yellow card. And he's lucky it's only a yellow card. Listen, listen. He let Chelsea down in the Champions League final last year, and he's, he's in the midst of doing the same here tonight. Look, he's still going. It's ridiculous. Get him away. Get him away. Get him away. Put him away. He's already been yellow carded. He's finger pointing at the Norwegian referee. He's still going. It's a shocking behaviour from the Ivory Coast striker. Absolutely appalling. Yeah. No excuse. Absolutely none whatsoever. None whatsoever. Do you know something? It was a peach of a shot from Iniesta. I was, it was a brilliantly taken goal. But the, the other thing as well is, I, I'm afraid it's happened to all of us, you have to, be, have to learn how to lose. And as disappointing as it is tonight, there's no doubt about that whatsoever. There are times when you have to walk away. 
Well, I don't know when we actually blew the final whistle. How much added time we had for stoppages doesn't really matter. Barcelona took their chance, and it will be Barcelona against Manchester United in the final, courtesy of this scoreline at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea won, Barcelona won, the Spanish win on an away goal. Alan Green, Mark Lawrence, and Simon Brotherton tonight as Chelsea distraught out at the very last. Superb equaliser from Iniesta. One of the worst displays of refereeing you will ever stay at this stage of the competition. John Terry, before Drogba's uh, stupidness at the end there, was absolutely distraught. Gus Hiddink and uh, some of his backroom staff in the end had to manhandle Drogba off the pitch. Not only did he go after the referee, he went back onto the pitch, he's shouting and screaming uh, down the uh, lens of a television camera. And meanwhile, Barcelona enjoying every moment of this with their 3,000 fans over to our left. Um, there will be repercussions all round here. There's been some extraordinary decisions tonight. It was a terrific goal, of course, from uh, Michael Essien and a brilliant equaliser from Iniesta, who I would say was man of the match tonight. He was quite outstanding in midfield. There was always that chance for 10-man Barcelona, uh, Simon Brotherton. And look, when everything calms down and you can say that they should have had two more penalties, and yes, they should. No, they clearly should, though, shouldn't they? Surely, I mean, the referee clearly totally should have got it wrong. There were two, maybe three penalty decisions. Well, three, the, I think. There's the, even yeah. the third one there you yeah. could have given. Two right handballs in the second half and the first half, a foul, which was clearly inside the area where the referee gave it, but gave it outside. Um, the referee has not covered himself in glory and Valdez made two good saves to deny Didier Drogba. The one thing you would say, of course, at 1-0, it was on a knife edge. You felt it was a wafer-thin lead. For all that Barcelona had had so much of the possession and done nothing with it, Iniesta, above any other player on the field, continued to use the ball intelligently. He kept plugging away and plugging away and plugging away. And in the end, he got the chance that his efforts deserved. But what a stunning, breathtaking end to the game and how heartbreaking for Chelsea. They will feel they've been robbed here. They certainly will, Mark Lawrence. And uh, have you known, ever known anything like that in the last minute? In a, at I this haven't. stage of a, of a Champions League semi-final, I mean, you can understand the emotion, the raw emotion on both sides, but there are times, as you said, when you've just also got to be a professional footballer well, at that stage. They crossed the line, Mark, I'm afraid. That, that's a problem. And, uh, and unfortunately, I think Chelsea Football Club and Didier Drogba, maybe even Michael Ballack, will, will have to pay for the repercussions of, of what happened. But... I mean, a great problem is there's a massive, massive sense of injustice here, which is, you know, Barcelona, loads of possession, fine, got the equaliser, don't have a problem with that, but the 10 men, he made attacking substitutions as well, Pep Guardiola, no, no problem, but, you know, I've never seen, you, your same three, and I agreed about it, at least, definitely, two penalties. I mean, yeah. how on earth the referee cannot give a penalty in the first half for Alves's tackle on Maluda, a yard inside the penalty area, I just don't well, it, know. Not, not only was it that he, that he couldn't, he, he can't, he's got no defence on that one, he no. was actually standing uh, just outside the penalty area, and if you put the line of the penalty area as he's facing the goal mm. on his left foot, he was inside, he was absolutely tramlining uh, yeah. that decision and still he just walked over and gave it outside know, that was, that was, he'll that... try and say I think Mark that he's given it for a foul just slightly before well, it that wasn't. but, no, but well, it, it was wasn't. rubbish yeah, and the, other it was one, rubbish. the other one was, was definitely the handball oh, by definitely Piquet definitely a penalty definitely he's, I he's... mean we've seen lots where someone's had a shot and it's hit someone's hand and they can't get out of the way or whatever but I mean he, he controlled it everything about it though the flick from Anelka the pace of the ball yeah. when it hit the hand as yeah. well it wasn't going out it was Anelka running behind him and then of course that last uh, moment of drama and then of course the other the other thing is, nobody knew where anything was at that stage. You're absolutely right there. Suddenly, 30 people in the technical area. Gus Hiddink was nearly uh, crashed to the floor. Was, it, was in, it was in the excitement of the moment when they all dashed down the touchline towards where the Barcelona fans were. Hiddink was taken off his feet, basically, and just about managed to stay upright. Clearly a bit shaken by it. Uh, it wasn't a deliberate thing, but no. he, he was just caught up in the rush. But I tell you, dis, uh, uh, in great contrast to Didier Drogba and Michael Ballard, the one, the one person who's shown a lot of class tonight is the manager, Gus Hiddink. We yeah. thought he was a classy guy, and he really did show it. In the face of a lot of provocation, uh, he rose above it uh, tonight. Such anguish, though, for John Terry at the end there as well. I mean, you know, and for all of these Chelsea players, that dressing room uh, will, well, it'll either be silence or they'll be kicking it to pieces well, at the moment. Iniesta's goal is one of the most stunning moments that I've 
can ever remember in a football ground. And, and the, it, the gasp, the intake of breath from 40,000 people. And, and what a moment for him as a world-class player to find the yeah. space. And, and he hit that to the only place where Czech couldn't get to. But, you know, that was a superb equaliser. It was. But the, the other galling thing about that is, is Barcelona also been in those positions so many times in the game before. And it was only because they thought it was going to be their last kick yeah. that they decided to shoot. And that, that, that is the only problem with this team. But the, the football the football is beautiful. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. But in all honesty, Mark, you know, we have to go back to the situation which Chelsea thoroughly, thoroughly deserved to have yeah. gone through tonight. I mean, it's difficult to sort of sit here and now pick through one or two of Chelsea's performances... Um, um, you'd have to say that Nicholas Anelka at times was his moody, broody self. He had the opportunities, well, possibly. He was, but, but despite all that, Chelsea played well enough, created enough, yeah. were unfortunate mm. enough at the hands of the referee mm. to have won the game yeah. tonight. And I don't think if they'd have won, Barcelona couldn't have had no. any complaints at all because for all that they had the ball, Peter Cech hardly had anything to do for most of the evening. Well, I don't think he hardly had to make a smother, was I don't think he made one. Say, no, no. It was a couple of smothers when he had to come out. Uh, well, um, I, what sort of repercussions are we looking at here? Because fines. Drogba be came, sorts of fines Drogba came back. We'd better just remind people if they are just joining us here. And in fact, um, what, the final whistle had gone some eight, nine minutes to, into extra time. Nobody knew where we were. And John Terry faced up the uh, referee to start with. So too did Michael Ballack, uh, who chased him all over the pitch. Um, and then when everything seemed to be slightly calmer, Didier Drogba marched back from the dressing room barefooted. In his flip flops. It was in his flip flops, which, which was the was, comical element. I just started chucking. And just when he'd gone, he was, he was, I mean, for football fans, um, there are, and actually at this moment in time, the Chelsea, Roman Abramovich now is striding across the pitch towards us here. He's got Peter Kenyon uh, and others trying to keep up with him, but he's, there's a wry smile on his face. He's waved to the fans. He's nodded. He has gone straight down the tunnel. I don't know that I'd want to be meeting Roman Abramovich if no, I was a referee I, coming the well, other no, way. He won't, he, won't, he won't go near the referee. He'll, he'll be in the dressing room to the players. I think he's that type of person which yeah. was, look, you know, you could not have done anymore yeah. like, you could just tell by the way he's not going to go and rant yeah. at the referee I mean, knows, anyway, you, you know it, professional footballers have to be professional I, I'm saying that completely but Drogba nearly in a way there was was like a like a fan I mean he, he'd gone he'd absolutely I mean, there, there are 30 or 40,000 Chelsea fans here who, wo who will stagger home tonight there's no doubt about that. But don't, but, that. But don't forget, this is the fellow that got sent off in the yeah. Champions League final and, and, and ultimately last year and, let, let them and, down. And actually tonight, he came off when he because wasn't Gus injured. Hiddink thought that he was seriously Abs injured absolutely. with the knee and then he didn't want to come off. And actually, uh, that might have been the difference if he'd stayed on. Yeah, I, I would suggest he's in, he's in bigger trouble than anybody in this stadium tonight with, with the UEFA, certainly. Tell you what, though, Barcelona, they were like a boxer reeling on the ropes, about to be counted out, Ali, and they found it? the knockout punch found from the, somewhere. Found the class. That's what the best people do, isn't it? The best team. I tell you what, we're, that's what the best people yeah. do. They I tell find what, it from somewhere. We, 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 we're joined now by um, Paddy Crayer, and um, of course, it's Manchester United against Barcelona. Evening to you, Pat. I honestly thought it would be Manchester United versus Chelsea. Oh, have you ever seen anything like that? No, right up to the 90s. But all fair, to, be, to be fair to Barcelona, they, I know they didn't have many shots at goal, but they kept they kept the ball and kept pushing forward all the time. You always felt they had a chance if they could have a moment. Always had a chance, but the great thing about it, when it's no score, you're 1-0 up, the closer it gets to the end, as Mark Lawrence will know, the more frightened you become. Mm. You're the one that becomes frightened, the team that's leading 1-0, because you don't want to give anything away. And then all of a sudden, bang. The referee should never have the match in the first place. Why are we getting amateurs from countries like Norway and Denmark to referee imported matches like that? Why don't we get the best referees to referee those matches? I, mean, I didn't think the sending off was the sending off tonight either.